He's back from a holiday away for the first time in how many weeks? How many weeks? How many? Two. In two weeks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Smith. Woo! Good morning. Good morning. We're back Good morning. Back in, well, we're hardly refreshed, are we? But we're we're back. We're sprightly today. Yes, yes. We're sprightly, aren't yeah. we, Mark? We are, we are. Can I can I just quickly before we go on? I just like to um. I did this on the Late Show before we went away. Yes. And I just like to, to thank everyone for their best wishes regarding Thomas. Um, the update is he's home. Uh, he's getting very, 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 very much better um, on a daily basis. He's still on his antibiotics and painkillers and still a bit badly bruised, but, um, but he's, he's out of the woods now. And um, so a huge, huge, huge thank you for everyone who's posted so many messages. I get quite jealous actually, because um, we've got to 128 comments wishing Thomas best wishes and my record is 53. So the cat got more comments than I did. Well, but. you know. <laughs> Maybe we should set up his own Facebook we page. Well, we were thinking that, we were thinking that. I think that. you should. <laughs> so the good news is that after Thomas is yeah. um, instant mm. with a dog, yeah. um, things are looking yes, good. Yes, 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 no, he's getting much better, thank you. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should work on pet rescue. Yeah, oh no, it'd be I'd heartbreaking. I'd love that. Well, do it, you could do it. I'd be a right campaigner. No, yeah. I wouldn't be crying. I'd be like, I'm yeah. gonna save this. I'm gonna save this animal. <laughs> it'd be like Thelma and Louise. No, not like Thelma and Louise actually at all. Um, something where someone saves something. Um, what's that thing with the big whale? What's he called? Free, Free Willy. Willy. It'll be like that. Me and you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, have we got a show for you? We know it's going to be uber busy today. We've got cord. We've got frosted mukite which i came in today was going around the lazy susan and i went "Ooh, frosted mukite oliver and uh, oliver said yes it is it's lovely because that's how oliver talks like that <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes <laughs> these are gorgeous mark and i'm thinking these are perfect for one for the chaps which we must film this coming we month must. please we must, we must do it okay one for the chat are you ready for one for the chaps yes well, I'm ready when so. you are. Okay. Although maybe it should be, maybe you should do it with Drew as, as he's a man. But I want to do okay. it with you. Right. Okay. So in fact, forget that. I'll come with a with a flat cap. Okay. Uh, can you make somebody make sure they ring Ben ahead of schedule today and tell him that if he's not wearing his flat cap and uh, cord trousers, mustard cord trousers, he's not coming to work today. I have got beautiful chain for you as well. Have a little look at this. I was looking at that before the show. It's very, very, very nice. It's a bit swankalicious, that. Yeah. But you know what? Without further ado, Laura Tara Maslata, let's do the early bird for we all want to catch a worm. Have a look at what I've got for you, a findings frenzy. Now, I always talk about Mark when I give you findings bumper packs because our Mark, our Mark um, actually allows himself 30, 30 pounds a month? Mm, a month, that's right. For findings. Mark, uh, talk to me about why, because I'm going to give everybody findings as the early bird special today. Why do you allow yourself um, a, a certain amount of money? Why is it important to make sure you've got a, a, a constant running of findings? Well, for things, for things like um, head pins and eye pins and shepherd's hooks, because most, most of the viewers have seen my, my craft stall, I sell a lot of earrings. And at any one time, I like to have between 250, 300 pairs on display at any one time. So, so there are your basics. So in that £30 budget I have, I have £20 for your basics essentials. And then £10 is for something special. So whether it's, it's started spacer beads or whether it's a nice chain, something special that I can incorporate. Oh, you allocate piece. the yes. actual, oh, he is oh, organized. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, and you can see why you've got to be organized, yeah. Mark. All of the jewelry that mm. you need to create to do, and this is one fair, just one. Yeah, yeah. And there's other things such as Christmas that you would you would you be making even more yes. than that for oh, Christmas? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you, you would, you'd need at least 150 backup that you take with you in, in separate box. This Christmas is, is coming thick and fast. <laughs> Do you know what it yeah. is? The kids are going back to school and mine yeah. haven't gone back yet tomorrow. Um, yeah. If you've just got back from the school run, good morning, you like, ah, oh, 
<laughs> your life is back as you knew it before um, out of that dressing gown and back onto the rat run that's what you've been doing this morning now let's talk about what I've actually got for you I love these silver spacer beads I think they will suit so many mediums think about actually sewing into pieces with these you get now how come we can count these and we can't count these What's that about? There are 980 to be absolutely precise. Now, whoever counted those, I would like to perhaps, I mean, you get, you've probably got about what? I mean, look, you've got so many more crimp beads as well. The, the balls are two mil. Look at all those crimp beads. I reckon, what do you reckon, Mark? Because you're quite good at things like this. Now, I guesstimated mm -hmm. about 2,000 yeah, in here. I thought well, 2,000. You think 2,000, yeah, yeah, I do too. Yeah. Now. Um, I would thank anyone who wants to, to weigh them today, please, crew. Just one, and we'll do a little bit of a mathematical thing where we deduct something from something. I don't know the actual. Do you have to? Oh, do we have scales? Yes. I thought she said, do we have to? Yes, you do. Absolutely. What kind of a question is that? I've, um, I've recently seen an application for a certain phone that you can turn your screen into a pair of scales. Oh, oh, did you hear that? You can get an app that turns your screen into scales. How does that work? Mm. Have to be one of the uber new ones. Yeah, the five. Oh, an i thingy five. You know, has anyone got one of those? Oh, Ryan's oh. going. Get Ryan, get out there and weigh a crimp bead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Ryan? There's jobs to be done with weighing stuff now. Go on, go and find Jedward and your way now. <laughs> I have got for you. <laughs> Crimp beads, we find out today exactly how many we reckon, Mark and I, about 2,000. I think we should play some bets. We've got crimp beads. We have got the balls. These are silver plate on copper. So, uh, and it's important. Now, copper is actually very hard wearing, isn't it? 50 grams you get in there. Then you've got, and I love rose gold, you've got 100 rose gold on copper findings. Now, copper is hard wearing, but it's not as, um, but it's malleable. We were talking yesterday about the, about the difference between copper and brass. Now, brass, if you had a brass, it couldn't be, it'd be a little bit hard to squidge it. Now, hang on a minute, Oliver. Oliver. Uh, never before has a boy wanted more. Oh, you're good at that, Cass. There is a long, thin, winding stairway without any banister. Me and you, today, all day. We're here for four hours, everybody. <laughs> uh, Oliver, I think that that picture's a little bit wrong, darling. Unless it's me that's wrong. I mean, it's probably. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. No, it ain't right. Do you know why? They look like gold ones on the right. And I've got silver. Mm. Oh, they are silver. It's the shadow. It's, it's Claire's head shadowing. That's what it is. Claire and her big head. I've told her about that head before. Now, you have got around 2,000 grim beads. You have got 980 silver balls. What's the millimeterage on the hole? It looks like... No, the actual hole. How many? What do I get to do there? What do you reckon, Barky? Three mil. About three mil. Yeah. About three mil. Yeah. No, because the beads are two mil. So it is impossible, sir. No, I thought you were asking me the approximate size of the bead. Oh, sorry, darling, the hole. The I'm hole, reckoning mil, yeah. maybe 0.6. Mm. I don't know. Now, the rose gold findings. You have got a metre of gorgeous chain. I love the toggle clasps in here as well. So this is our traditional. These are our traditional findings from our kit. Mark's got a gorgeous kit today. I'm so happy that Mark's back. You want to see the gorgeous jewellery he's got. But always be quick. You know, you know on Marky days, things are uber. I've got to stop saying uber because my daughter can't bear it. She yes. says I'm ridiculous and I'm too old to say uber. I know, I know. How rude are these children, eh? How rude! It's right though, isn't it? I rely on that girl to tell me the God's honest truth. Does this outfit look ridiculous? Yes, you look like a dog's dinner, is usually <laughs> the answer. Have a look. Whereas normal kind people will say, no, it looks fine. So you've got all these gorgeous findings. So it's really important to always have 
findings in your stash. Now, it is important because, I mean, it's the difference, Mark, and, and you're the one that actually sort of gave me this realisation. It's the difference between saying yes or no to your customer. If somebody rings you and says, listen, um, it's my mother-in-law's birthday, I've been scouring the streets and I just can't find anything, I'd love for you to please make her something gorgeous and special. I've only got a week, is it doable? The worst answer you can give is no. They'll go somewhere else. Of course, if, you've got, if you're saying no because you just don't have the findings, and you know, you could take yourself down to old Bobby Craft, Shaft, you know, rhymes with that, you know what I mean. <laughs> you could take yourself down there, uh, and you could, uh, but then it would be more expensive for you to make, perhaps. Now, you need to be on the phone lines quickly because we're going to give you an amazing early bird deal. It's Tuesday and the children are going back to school. 12.95 today, my darlings, is a good day. 0800 6 Let us know, give us a text in today, 60777. Have you waved off your little four-year-old for the first time today? Or your big year seven for the first time today? Let us know how it went. I know it's emotional. The first day my daughter went in, she wouldn't let me go in with her. She told me she was fine from the gate, thank you very much. Really? Yeah, and all the other kids were crying. 12.95, I've raised a confident little boot. <laughs> GNG C86, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Head pins and eye pins. Nearly a thousand of the two minutes. What would you do with those beads, Mark? They're great little embellishments, aren't well, as they? You, as you said, I'll just use them as, as they are, a space of beads. Fantastic. Just, um, I mean, I would use them as, um, I think on the website, we've got flat head pins. I think I've seen flat head pins yes. somewhere on the line. So if, if we only have flat head pins, you can just pop one of those on the bottom and you've got a round head pin. That's, oh, that's I like that it. idea. Yes. So, but do you know, these actually sold out when we bought them two mm. separately last week. They're back in stock in this bundle only. Now think about adding these little embellishments to earrings, just giving that little flash. What about your skinny macrame, your micro macrame? Yeah, you could use it with that. Would they be good with that? I love the, the additions yeah. of the little, and I, and I just think it's nice to have the flash of silver, isn't it? These could go in bracelets, these could go in the between pearls, these can go on the ends of tassels. They're fabulous with monofilament as well. So if you're making lots of monofilament pieces, you could, oh, do you know what as well? You know when you just haven't got an, that 114 mil bead to make a stretchy? Well, instead of that, just put one of these in between each one and it should make it just right. You know, so to stop those gaps, just to add that flash of silver, that focal point to your design. Really, really special pieces to have in your stash. Have you got lots of your stacker boxes? Fill them up with findings. Are you gonna be doing lots of Christmas fairs this year? You know what? You need to make sure you have do you know, oh, what about making while you're actually on your craft fair? Because I always think that looks, do you do that, Mark? Do you yeah. make while you're on your craft fair? Well, it's a bit difficult for me because I like to be what I call front of house. So I'm always in front of my table, just, just pottering than, and, okay, and talking yeah. to every single person that, that comes through the, through the room. But um, it's always best to have this as, as um, behind if somebody wants alterations doing, because I'm starting to get people coming in now with broken jewellery. And they're asking me to mend it while this they're browsing. This is good. Yeah, and they're asking me to mend it while they're browsing. And if you didn't yeah. have things like crimpies, right. yes, because you can go yeah. and find a watch mender, Absolutely. watchmaker. Yeah. You know, they'll they'll do stuff. Watch mender. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you mend me watch? <laughs> um, you can you can go and find somebody who'll do that kind yeah, of thing. That's right. But actually, you're right. You'd think normally I'd have to go to a jeweler. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Mm. You can add that. So, do you advertise yeah, this service? You should. Do. That might be you should. should do, yeah. I've got loads of jewellery that I would be bringing to you. Now, we're going to go on to Mark's challenge. He feels challenged enough already just having me next to him, I'm sure. But Something I'm going to give very, you. Very hmm? nice challenge. Do well. you love it? If I was given free reign, I would have chosen this one myself. But it just happens that Laura chose it this morning. Now, you know what? You are going to get a treat today, Mark, because it, we, we haven't had you. They're all going, he's rubbing his hands together because <laughs> Sue's all excited. How many stones are on that strand? I, it's the colour I love. And you know what they, they remind, it's, it's this, you just don't get pearlescence 
from any other gemstone that is not from the sea like you do with kyanite then of course it's not from the sea uh, but it's still giving you palescence what's going on here it's amazing beautiful the shiller is just sparkling i love it now i am passionate about this i they're laughing at me because i'm doing this i'm very i'm, I'm always very expressive aren't i animated am i I was going, this, this is beautiful, and Ryan's going like this behind his camera, look. <laughs> Listen, I can't help, I'm a passionate person, Ryan. I'm a passionate person. Now, just because you're a man of few words, right? Look at this. Look at this, Schiller. Now, it just reminds me, well, straight away, it's, it's like a beach scene, isn't it? Don't you think? I love these colours. I love the glisten. It reminds me of the when the sun hits the sea and you've got that rippling of water. It's just beautiful. You're thinking it's something I have Narnia. I love Narnia. I, I visit it often. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I do. I do love Narnia. The whole thought of that. Now, oh, you're right. It is. Oh, yes, I love that. Was it C.S. Lewis, isn't it, Narnia? Mm. Yeah. I like that. Now you've also got, and this is where it gets really exciting for, Mark. look at the, look at, have you seen the labradorescents coming from this, Mark? These rounds? They're special, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That is labradoodle-tastic, isn't it? I love it. It just adds such an elegance and a beauty. And you know what, Mark? The round, we need it so often. And, and sometimes we need a round just to do the little sort of spacing. But, but so I don't want to just, I don't, sometimes when you don't just want to space something, you want to add, you want to add a, a wow factor, a feature. This is where the round is perfect. And I'm thinking if you, bought, if you got interested in the suitash yesterday, then this is a perfect strand for doing your beaded chains and things. Now, Mark, you're going to have to have a go at this suitash. It looks amazing. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. You need to do it because it's fabulous. Have a look at the blue quartz. Now, is it me or is that tanzanite blue? Isn't it? Isn't it tanzanite blue? I love it. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous. Are you ready? To try us out with this bundle now, do, uh, give me some early inspiration, Marky. Well, I'm incorporating a bit of wire this morning. You are yeah. good. So, good. So I'm doing a Celtic bangle with the blue quartz to start with. A Celtic bangle. Yeah. And then I'm going to, I'm, th I'm thinking doing some sort of Rachel Norris passion flower inspired. Oh, a passion flower. We're yeah. passionate today. Let's yes. stick with that. Yeah. Okay. Let's do mm. it. Yeah. Now, Mark, you haven't been here for two weeks, but have you been jury making or did you think, no, Mark? No. Um, I did take my kids to Yorkshire. I knew with you me, would. Yes. I knew you would. Mm. I knew it. Mm. Now, Mark, mm. you've had a little break from us here. You've been away. Are you ready to come back with a, with a wow? Yes. Show us what we've been missing. That's what's going to happen with Mark today. <laughs> OK. Are you ready? Because all of this for 14.95 and you've got to appreciate what you're getting here you've got gorgeous labradorite the double tape gemstone the gemstone that you can really get passionate about you know you look at it first and it's great but no something just something just caught your eye you're like a magpie when it comes to labradorite because it's absolutely gleaming and you've got to stop i mean I mean, if you're anything like me, you're nosy and you need to think, or you think you're going mad all the time. So you stop and you think, am I going mad or did that just, did that just flash green at me? And it does. And then to learn that it's a real gemstone, I think is absolutely crazy. I just love Labradorite. I, I think it's magical. And then the Kyanite, again, Palescence. This is such a gorgeous trio. I know Mark's going to make something stunning and I know you're going to want to do it too. 14.95, lots of you on the phone lines is a free phone number a great big good morning and a kiss on the lips to each and every one of you this morning hope you're having a wonderful wonderful tuesday 
DCG C58 is your item called code, not cord, it's called Sea Breeze. Now we're going to give that to Marky. We got some treats for you today. Now, hey up, the builders are in, Mark. I thought I heard the drill. Yeah, yeah, we can hear that. Now, let me show you. Mark, you're gonna like this. Oh, I love the colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm into my bright colors. We're gonna have to kiss goodbye to summer any minute now, aren't we? Don't kiss goodbye to colour though. These orange ones are going to work really, really well in your autumnal pieces. Take a look at what I've got for you now. Long chips in bright pink and fabulous. Kind of like an apricot orange actually. It's not a bright in your face orange. It is apricot, isn't it? Now, Mark, using colour like this together is fabulous. I'm thinking carnival, tropical, with all this lovely, with, with it, it's the texture of these, it's the way, it's the movement of them, it's the size, it's the shape. Would you put them together yes. or would you separate them? No, 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 I'd put them together. Quite easily. It's quite autumnal to me, those colours. Actually. Well, because of the, be, yeah. I think because of the uh, apricot, they are, mm. they are. But mm. I think they could be quite summery. Well, together I find them summery. Mm. Uh, the, the autumnal one is, is very... I mean, you imagine that with some smoky quartz. It's absolutely autumnal, isn't it? I'm looking forward to the autumn. I am. I like I know. autumn. Do you? I love mm. it. I think it's so pretty, isn't it? We've got quite a few aces in our garden that are growing pots and they're just, just starting to turn colour. And that's that. They just look beautiful in autumn. I can't they wait. They do, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And you live in you live in Whitney, don't you? Mm. Which is just gorgeous. The Cotswolds yeah, are beautiful yeah. in the autumn. I shall miss that. I'm not in the Cotswolds anymore. That's gonna yeah. I know. It's all right though. Hertfordshire's <laughs> all right. It's lovely. It'll do. Now you've got gorgeous cord. Sorry, the reason they're laughing at me like, what is wrong with that? I'm sniffing the leather. I love the smell of leather. Do you, Cass? No. <laughs> Reminds me of boot rooms. Nadine just walked past and went at me. <laughs> it does, I love it. I just love the smell of leather. And you've got leather cord. Now, Mark and I um, get excited by a leather cord. What would you do with this, Mark? You are getting it with the bundle. Well, I'm, what are the other pieces of cord there? You've got the wax cord in orange. Yeah. You've got the wax cord in pink. Okay, what I would probably do then is use the leather cord to make a couple of bracelets and the rest of the stones I would mix the colours and the, the other two cords I would do um, some sort of plaiting so I have a he really heavy plaited neckline piece with the maybe a I don't know a three strand plaited weave with the rest of the chips at the front just to make a really standout wow feature beautiful do you, do you know Mark that mm. Hannah Roxbury and I were doing um, actually I was on Facebook and I said look at this Hannah um, it was last week and somebody posted on Facebook it's actually a running advertisement um, it's the uh, Lady Oxbury. Now, um, there is a leather bracelet by, I mean, and there's lots of there's lots of wonderful charm bracelet manufacturers. There's Links of London. There's uh, Thomas Sabo. Pandora had a, had a, has got an advertising campaign for a leather bracelet at the moment. It's beautiful, um, black single leather with some silver and loads of charms on it. Uh, it's it's being advertised at forty five pounds. And I thought, well, actually, for a Pandora, that's okay. Um, went on to the advertisement, advertisement, um, and it was just for the leather cord. No. And the clasp. Actually, of course, if you wanted the addition of the lovely charms, Extra. they're about from 40 quid up for a strand of... But you do get the nice packaging, of course. I don't know whether I'd rather just make <laughs> my own, though. I don't Gosh. know whether I would just rather make my own. Look at that. 
Now, Oliver's just saying that he um, bought his mum a Pandora bracelet, and it's lovely, isn't it? Uh, he said he thought, uh, his wife thought it would be a good idea, only now he has to keep spending a minimum of £40 on the charms, and he feels like somehow he's been uh, trapped into that, do you, Ollie? OK. Well, they are pretty, but they're very expensive. Maybe you'd like to design your own. The gorgeous gemstones are yours. The waxed cord is yours for Kumahimo, for French Nick for macrame macrame rame you can do your leather work as well now isn't that a wonderful price tag mark talk to me why are you open mouth sir at well, 8 that's, that's fantastic isn't it i mean that's isn't it six pound for the cords minimum isn't it yeah so you're, six, pa yeah. you're paying a couple of tell me mark strand. before us because yeah. you pay by the meter don't I, you yeah I still do sometimes if, if we run out of stock here. Well, we often run out because yeah. our prices are so competitive. Yeah. What do you pay per meter? Well, I've managed, so I've done a bit of research since we've been having our own leather here, and um, the, uh, the firm that I used to get it from uh, has now reduced it down to 60 pence a metre. What was it before? 75. What are we paying per metre? What are we paying per metre? You know this. 20p. <laughs> it's... it's yeah. Well, you need to get on the phone lines. Yeah. Eight ninety-five. YRG C fifty is your item code. It is amazing to have your company this morning, my darlings. Uh, on the phone lines, it's free phone. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. I love the texture of these. I love the way that I, I'd like to put some rounds in there. Almost maybe some blues would look good. Oh, yes, the silver beads from the early bird mm, in between. In between. What do you do with the gemstones, Marky? Well, I would mix them all up, because you can do macrame with the long teeth. Um, the, what Spiky I call, ones, yeah. can't you? Yes, I do like that idea. Early birds on the screen uh, if you if you still want them. Yes, so spiky star macrame um, bracelets, just simple necklaces you can create with these. And because they have such amazing randomness of size and and these they are I like the organic shapes I like things I like it's like Gemma said the other day I like jewelry that you can make that looks like it's got messy movement because it's more interesting than uniform, isn't it? There's a time and a place for uniform, uh, and there's there's a time and a place for just having that those lovely designs that are eye catching and that move and that are interesting. And I think this kind of a gemstone creates that kind of joy. I mean, of course, the the round will create uniform pieces, your uniform stretchies, and there is you know when we're going to work and things like that, that's wonderful. But right now, uh, I'm definitely being inspired by by thoughts of jewellery that has a lot of messy movement and is therefore very eye-catching YRG C50 you can shop online by the way in case you didn't know you can shop online it's jewelrymaker.com now I'm gonna give you Kaz Cass even it's very confusing we got a Kaz and a Cass um, every time you come over here from now on you need to sing a little bit of a yeah. little <laughs> snippet from your favorite musical now okay <laughs> okay. You do. I do anything, you dear. Anything for you mean anything. to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing like a good sing song. And it's always nice to uh, take myself away from Kumbaya, which is my normal one. Eating dinner, my lord, Kumbaya. Everything I do is. Yeah, everything. It drives my household insane. Now, look at this grey moonstone. Oh, do you know what? This is just beautiful. It should be called silver moonstone, you know. Oh, like a frosty morning. Oh, yeah. Do you know, actually, it was quite misty this morning. Look at this, Mark. Look. It's almost like lampadrite, isn't it? What have we called it? It's grey moonstone. That's oh. what it is. What do you want to call it? You don't like the name? Silver, silver moonstone, yeah, isn't it? Change it, Laura. Yeah. Change the name of the gemstone. Ring up, ring up God and tell him he was wrong in the naming <laughs> of this gemstone. That's what it is called. Mm. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look, look what else I've got for you. Oh, Mark, and they go beautiful. They go beautifully together. They go beautifully together. 
Aren't they good? Oh, Is that a this... strand of mixed barrel? Mm, the barrel all-stars. Mm -hmm. And we are talking Morganite, baby. Look at those tones. Oh my gosh, Mark, look at the clarity. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that Heliodor. This is adorable. I'm, I'm definitely sticking out for that one. I love it. Now, I have got... Laura just went in my ear. These, I like diamonds, I love them. Now, Laura's very, very into her bridal pieces. Not only because she's absolutely dying for her boyfriend to ask her to marry her, but because you, you do actually create. So he's still not asked you. I've told you. Just go off with Ryan. <laughs> oh yeah, you can have my you can have my brother if you want. He is too intelligent. Listen, he's not too intelligent for you. Remember, he's got me, old thicko, for a sister, so he's used to it. I'm trying to find a wife for my brother. He'll be mortified by this because um, because I just am. I don't know why. He's not been very good at his selection process. <laughs> Have a look. No, it's not that. It's that he just, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Anyway, who cares? Look at these. They are 12 mil. They're absolutely gorgeous. That Aren't might be the stand? strand of the day for me today. Really? Mm. Now tell me why. Well, I saw the first thing I saw when I came in this morning. They are just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I, I love would just them. use the whole strand for earrings, single drop earrings. Would you? I was yep. expecting you to say you were going to shambala these. No, 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 those would be earrings for it's me. It's the movement. Oh, do you yeah. know what? These are the ones that Debbie always grabs to put the end of her chain mail as well. And you're mm, into yes. chain mail. And so you'd have seen a lot of Debbie's pieces. These are very, very similar to the ones that she likes to use. So I'd snap this up. Don't forget on Friday, we are launching Debbie's brand new book. You need to That's make sure, amazing. Mark, that you're here for that. You're watching, you're with us. Have a look at these. Citrine together with that. Have you bought the mahoosive ones we gave you yesterday? These are gonna go. I'm feeling but do you know what? That's why I'm overexcited and all happy today. I'm wearing yellow. It is true, it's the colour of happiness. And then we've got that frosted mukai, and I love these. You reminded me of Doris Day when you skipped across the studio in your yellow dress Did this I? morning. Yes. What's that song? Well, that's something her mother told her. Can't remember. Oh, um, K Sera. Oh, that's it. Whatever will go on, Cass. K Sera, Sera. Whatever be will be. Oh, she's got a lovely voice. Listen to, <laughs> listen to Cass, everybody. Mm. Oh, we know who's doing our Christmas jingle this year. That's it. <laughs> me and you, Cass. More <laughs> you than me, though. Have a look at that. Now, we have got. The first kit of the day. Woohoo! Now, this again, gorgeous colour. You're doing the demo with me on this. The demo. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the prep. Yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're doing it. All right, fine. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Let's face it. All right, really? Is it? Mm -hmm. We'll make I've it set easy. It up. I've set it all up for you. Ready? Is it Macrame? You know I'm not no, very no, good no. at Macrame. No, no, it's not. No, no, okay, no. Okay, okay. No. No, no, calm down, Jenny. Everything's fine. <laughs> I always do that thing. One question at a time. Have a look. Look at the yellow on here. I'm very happy by yellow. It's called Beautiful Dreamer. I like that. Have a look. At this. I have got marmalade. All sort of marmalade yellows. Does that make sense to you? You know when you hold a jar of marmalade and it's got sort of yellow tones and... Oh no, I know what they remind me of. Amber. That amber, that amber colour. Oh, you're going to love Mark's jewellery. And look at these, look at these. Woo! Bright colours like this. I love... I mean, that is flame orange, isn't it? And so I, th I feel that this kit could be very, very summery, but actually there's definite autumn feelings. Then I'm gonna add a splash of caramel. Mm, oh, that reminds me of Bailey's, that color. Oof. Ooh. Oh, you don't like a Bailey's, Mark? That's all right, more for me. Look, they're gorgeous, don't you? Not even no. a, an Irish coffee. You don't like that, Mark. Mm. 
What's your tipple then? Um, what whiskey? Oh, whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is dead classy, Mark. There's me with my baby shower, but there's Mark with his malt whiskey. No, not really. I do like I do like a whiskey. It's true. Look at this kit. Don't you think this would be good enough on its own? I'm also going to give to you. Look, look, look at these. I think these are absolutely wonderful together. They are reminding me of the fallen, le fallen leaves of autumn. I'm very excited by autumn. Now, I'm, I'm not going to just leave you there. You're also getting, and I know Mark would have been uber happy about this. There's that word again. Have a look. You've got, it's so silky, this cord. It's beautiful, isn't it beautiful? What a lovely, lovely colour as well. Now, it is almost, it's so silky, it's like a two-tone of orange, Ollie's saying. You're right. Yeah, you, I can see, yes. It's like when light shines on somebody's auburn hair, isn't it? And you, oh, yeah. Now, you've also got your beading materials. And, of course, I'm going to give to you, well, we're going to give to you 98 gorgeous findings, a metre of chain, your toggle clasp with the extender. Three of the ribbon ends with the extender cords. Your eye pins, your head pins, you've got your shepherdy hooks, you've got your uh, bolt ring and uh, um, everything. Crimp beads, everything you need to create wonderful jewellery. It's called Beautiful Dreamer. Good morning, Anna Oxbury, who's come in to have a look at this gorgeous kit. And you've got some stunning. She did say eventually, good morning back. Have a look at these colours and let's give you your price tag. I want to get straight over to Marky and just celebrate colour of autumn. For $21.95, you're getting all of this. You have got four wonderful strands. Do you feel that this is good value for money, Mark? That's fantastic for me. Fantastic for value for mm. money. Now, get on the phone as quickly for this one. I, now, talk, talk to me about Mark. Um, sorry, I've just walked over here like I'm the, the boss of me. Um, now, <laughs> just sauntered over and Oliver's like, oh yeah, just go. Just go, no one wants to follow you. Sorry, Oliver. Now, um, I love this. It's wonderful. Now, two weeks ago today, I did the morning show with Lucy and yes. uh, we had a kit and I did a very similar pendant to this and I've become a hook to them and what I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks I'm going to try and see if they'll let me do a masterclass on this particular style of pendant maybe with different colourways and different gemstones and, and Did you bring any chocolate with you today? No Go to the machine and then go up to Hannah Oxbury and ask her for the masterclass Bribe with chocolate Always Okay Or cheese That's a good tip you won't need any bribery. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Absolutely wonderful. And do you know what? You've done something that I never would have even dreamt of. And this is why I love having you here. Have a look at the bracelet down here. Almost like windmills. Mm. Well, I've never had this they? shape before. I've never had this shape. Aren't they? They remind yeah. me of the thing on Superman's vest. Yes. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. They're gorgeous. I lo that reminds me of a windmill. I love mm. it. Oh, yeah, it's never thought of that. A, a, a lovely, a lovely windmill. Now these gemstones, they've done a three row macrame bracelet and the gemstones are glorious together. Now, I just love that, Mark. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the way they I'm, the are way gorgeous. The, um, the way that the, the stones sit, they're little rows of chevrons and, and they just work perfectly well together. Oh, they are chevrons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do beautiful. love that. Very classic now with the chain and I like the sections that you've done. This is what the demo is going to be, you're going to be making one. Oh good, actually I think I can do that. Yeah, okay. Good, fine. Okay. Oh crikey, can I really? <laughs> now, um, oh can I do it? Mm. It's these top drops, they, do, you, do you find it, it adds to um, the scope of the design when you've got That's, the top, oh, absolutely, top drops? Absolutely, it's a completely different look isn't it? Completely uh, different. I think so, yes, yeah. yeah. And with the um, earrings especially, I mean, that, I that's just beautiful. I love these earrings. Now, 
I love the row that you've put on there, and, I, and I've seen the chain. You do the the thing with the chain before, mm, mm. and uh, what I what draws my attention to these is that they have a very different look to other ones that you've done. So it just goes to show that by using the same technique with oh, different absolutely. shaped gemstones, you just get an entirely different look. Now, I love the texture of this. Have you taken three rows of macrame and plaited them? Mm. I like that a lot. Yeah. I really like that because you know, you know me. I like things a little bit messy and quirky. And this is macrame is very neat and tidy. So this is a great way of actually making it a little bit more quirky. It is. And um, if I can quickly show you how I did it, this is this will help you if you're making. Oh, you're unraveling it. If you're making multi-strand plaited necklaces, if you make the necklace first and then you do the plaiting. Ooh. If you if you start at one end, so you have your three. We can do that on the overhead. I can show. So if we have the three, yeah. and all you do, if we just undo this, like so. So you've got your three, is you take the, the end that your cord is attached to and go the right hand of the two. Yeah. And then the left hand of the two. Oh. And then the right hand, and that'll all tangle up and you'll get that plait. Oh. So if, so if you've got a multi-strand Instead of plait, actually plaiting it. Yes, if you've got a multi-strand plaited necklace that you've made in the past, that through wearing has unraveled and so you have three straight um, fronds instead of plaited. That's just the good the good way of doing it. Just one over oh, the other, over the other, over the other. Oh, fab! It's brilliant. Are you going to give me a jewellery lesson now? Yes. Good. I think we should <laughs> always do this. Okay. So because then I might mess it up and people might so, do that at home. So too. we're going to make that little middle section of the necklace here. It's just to show you a way of, of um, adding this chains. This piece here. Yes. yes. Okay. So. And is this mine here? Everything is laid Thank out. Thank you. Look, Look I've got everything <laughs> laid out okay. like a proper lesson. Okay. So we take first of all we take one of our eye pins. Okay. And we thread on the beads in the order, so you take a little of the of the little. I can't get it out of my nails. Balls. I've hit a wall already. Sorry. Right. Okay. So, go. so one of the little balls first of all that you get ten of in your findings pack, and then one of the little citrines. Yep. Yeah. And then one of the little kite shapes, like so. And you'll notice that. Between is, is this citrine or quartz? I, I think it's it. quartz. It's isn't quartz, it? isn't it? It is quartz. Yeah, between yes. the quartz and the tigers, I've got little gaps. So all we do is we just oh yeah, bend is... it up slightly so it bend sits it flush. Okay. Yeah, done yeah, that. And then we repeat. Like a little that. arm. That's right. And then we pop on the quartz and the remaining little bead. Let's always do this. Okay. And just bend it up again so you've got that nice little oval shape. Okay, so bend it up again from the other yeah, side. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now, as you can I'm see, I'm a bit V now. Is that that's right? That's fine. Okay. You can do it so, so this is slightly too long for me. So using Ooh, your, your your little nippers there, just take off about half a centimetre. Okay, really? Mm. You probably won't need to on yours. Why have you got more than me then? Oh, I see. Because I've done that. Look, I've well, gone. I've gone. Bent my arm. Ah, and it's too come quickly. away. That's what I've done. Oh yeah. So if you take just about four or five millimetres off the end of about your. There. At okay. the end of there. So about there, yeah? Yep. Okay. You're right, your eyes are right there, right? <laughs> okay. okay. Now what we need to do is you need to make sure that the loop that you're going to make on the other end yeah. is parallel with the loop. Oh on the crikey. Original. Okay. So what I do is hold it like this in between your thumb and your two fingers, like so. Yeah. And then bend away from you, ninety degrees. Yeah. It. And then round those pliers, make the loop back. Yeah. And, and are you going all the way to yes. the nose? You're yes. going just to make a, yep. a little loop, yes? Mm hmm Yeah. I never um, cut them off. I can loop, I can loop. That's something I can do. Okay. okay right, so you've so got this that. in effect. Yeah. Okay. Now you I notice I've given open. you... Do you want it open or have you got closed. a closed loop? Closed. Okay. Yeah. So to make the earrings, all you would do is add a piece of chain and pop on it on a shepherd's hook. Now you've got three pieces of chain mark. Uh -huh. Are they equal lengths? No, they are three set different lengths. The first uh, section is 14, then 18, 
and then 22 links. 14, eight. now if you've got the beadboard at home, this is where yes. uh, this kind of apparatus becomes essential because if you need your, if you need structure in jewellery, and you know like Mark has actually done rows of gemstones as well, instead of counting the gemstones of course, you want to actually make sure um, your, your pieces mm. can be symmetric, so the only way you can do that is by using Absolutely. something like a beadboard, it's just, it's just so much easier and, and the finish result is better. counting individual links which yeah. takes forever. So I've given you two jump rings. Yes you have. So we take one of them. Just open it slightly. And always open outside, right. uh, not, no, always open to the side, not out. Yep. Don't do that, go like, do the jockey door. That's right. Okay, and you take the longer piece of chain first because we want that to sit on the outside. Okay, the longer piece is here, yeah? Yep. And then and you're going to the, the end next loop. piece, yeah. And then the next piece, and then the next piece. Wait, I'm putting all of them onto all one three. jump ring? Yes. Okay. All right, Mark, and then the next piece. Mm -hmm. Now this is important to get them in the right um, yes. order, right? Yeah, because we want them to sit within inside each other, like um, ripple rings on, on water rather than overlapping. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then take your little finding you've made with the beads right and pop that on as okay. well. And then close up your jump ring. Close the jockey door. Yep. Actually, I will say these are nice and firm. They're brilliant, these jump rings. Yeah. I love them. Absolutely yeah, I, them. I like those. Yeah. But they seem to, I mean, they are whole, harder to close, but I, I like the uh, the firmness of them because I feel like they're going to last. Mm. They're not going to open no, of right. their own accord. Right, you've got another jump ring yeah, there. So this time we won't be able to do it on the overhead because we need to hold it up because this is where it gets a bit trickier. You need to repeat what you've done on this side, but with it all attached. So put the jump ring through the bottom of the longest link. You go longest, whoa, yep. jump ring, longest first. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, longest first. Sorry, everybody, this is difficult to catch at home. I can't do that while it's, because I can't actually, where it's moving, I'm going to have to do it like that. Okay. So the longest first, and then we move to the, the middle length, and then the shorter length. Okay, I can do that, if like me, you cannot see perspective. Did you know? And when I can't you hold it up, as you can see on the, on the screen there, you've got the the smaller one within, and then the longer, and then the longest. That's okay. It. Okay, and then attach it to oh, your I've done piece something of stupid. No, I haven't. piece of jewellery. Okay. So now it goes on. To that goes on to, and then Ta -da! close up the jump ring. And close. And then if we lay it down on the there board. We go. Mine's got more of a. Um, a dip down than yours. That's right. See. Yeah. Hang on. Let me display mine like yours. Oh, that's why. There you go. You're that way, silly. Mm. There we go. Why is mine shorter? What have I done? I've Just done. Sure. That's it. It goes the other way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I did it. That was easy peasy. Look at that, look. Those would make a nice pair. So what you do for the next now. section is you only use the 14 and the 18 link. I mean, if I had to, if I had more of the of the chain. I would put another circle just with a single. That's a nice set there, isn't it? Yeah. And you, you, you could just attach a piece of chain there and there, yeah. as we've done with those. It's similarly to the earrings. Sorry, reaching across. With the earrings. So you'd have the chain at the top there with the three chains. Very Grecian. There, but I was mm. just about yes. to say that. Very yeah. Grecian. Now, uh, I'm going to go back on over to the centre. Thank Marvelous. you, darling. Okay. Uh, make sure you're checking out Baskets if you are shopping online with us today. And don't forget that you've all got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Let's check out the gemstones that you get with this kit because I just want to give you the uh, dimensions. No, I just need the inf He's going, you're going to sneeze because I'm pointing. No, sorry, I just need the dimensions of the gemstones because I haven't mentioned them yet. Is that all right? Sorry, darling. He hates me. Do you hate me, Oliver? <laughs> I'll give them you later. Do you know what? They are on the website, so don't worry. Sorry, we haven't got... Don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. We'll have a look. They're on the website, jewellerymaker.com. Sorry, Oliver. It's my, it's my fault, because I should have told you right at the beginning. I probably already have told you. Now. <gasps> don't tell Mark. OK. I have got an absolute deal. Now, Mark said um, he's found his strand of the day. I've got a deal of the day for you now. 
I'm not going to show you what you've got yet. What I want you to do is get on the phone lines. I know in my heart that these are going to sell out. I reckon you've got about three minutes. They're very, very limited. I'm about to give you a precious gemstone, not just one strand, and you are going to get the lowest, 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 lowest price tag. Two strands of emerald going three strands you're joking you're not going to believe this yeah i've got two strands that are the same and one that's like t a tiny bit smaller really they all look the same they all look really long one of them's a tiny bit longer but you're about to get emerald. These are amazing. We're going to give you a deal for three strands of emerald for under twenty pounds. Wonder how? Say that to me again. Under twenty. Three strands of emerald going under twenty pounds. Is that what you're saying to me? Three strands of emerald. Stop. Three double strands of emerald. Some might say six strands of emerald. 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 Emerald going under £20. You need to be on the phones now. We are limited stock. Not everybody's going to get these. Very, 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 very limited edition. If you are lucky enough to be on the phone lines now, you need to take action. Loads of you are, of course, on the website buzzing around. We're going to give to you an incredible deal, but we're going to do it quickly because we've hardly any of these. Oh my gosh, these are going to sell out. 12 95 three double strands of emerald. Talk to me, Mark, about why this deal is insane. I'll tell you what I would do with them. I would use my um, bracelet memory wire bangles, and I would do two circles, a bit of white pearl, Simple as White pearl, yes. emerald and pearl, um, memory wire bracelet, 30, 35 pound. For one bracelet? You get two bracelets out of a double strand. So you've got six bracelets. 210 pound. That's 210 pounds erring on the with, side with, of. With pearls and if you want to add a little silver charm or something like that. Memory wire is very inexpensive and can be bought mm. on our website, but we've got some memory wire coming up later now just to let you know the phone lines are going bananas stay where you are do not hang up because this will sell out in a second i think uh, you need how many have we got left lawsy dawsy we've got 20 left there are 28 of you on the phone lines 32 of you on the phone lines if you're on the phone lines stay where you are if you're on the website and you don't check out baskets you are going to miss out to a telephone caller 12 pounds and 95 pence lsg c77 stay in the queues uh, we've got just literally think there's a if you're in the queue stay where you are now <laughs> oh i love these these are some of my favorites i absolutely love these think elegant elegant ladies ladies that lunch the ones you're all i'm jealous of have a look uh the emerald's gone just to let you know. I think these are heavenly. These are one of my favorite. I've got these. I haven't done anything with them yet. I absolutely adore them. And I told you why I adored them. And these ones, look, look at the color. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? That burnt orange, look, look at the iridescence that you get from this strand. Oh my gosh, I want a ring. I want to wire wrap them into rings. Is there a ring here? Oh my, oh, Kaz has got some gorgeous jewelry. I'm gonna grab off her in just a tickle. I'll wear it, Kaz, I'll wear it. I love these. Look at the warmth that you get from these gemstones. Don't you think they're very graceful, very elegant, very cocktail party? We don't have enough cocktail parties. I just think as a stretchy, these would look, you know the hematites you bought yesterday? 
Oh, Kaz, that is gorgeous. Kaz has bought the jewellery made by Sue, our beading buddy. Whoops. We're so keen to get... Oh, look, look what, what wonderful rings these make. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? You could prong set them too, couldn't you? I absolutely adore the colours that this strand's giving you. Let's have a look at the necklace that Sue's made. It's got to be with gold, hasn't it? Oh, don't you think that's lovely? Mark, talk to me about these gemstones. What are they, what are they saying to you? I've never seen the lighter shade before. I've seen the, I've seen the darker one. They're, they're, they're just, beautiful. What would you do? What would you create out I, of this? I think I would add a push go down the cufflink route. I really think so. And um, what about the size? Because um, you've got smaller, I mean they graduated in size, so I would take the small, go from the smaller of one end and then uh, for the inside of the cuff and then the larger one for the outside. The jump rings I like mm. in between here. I really like what Sue's done. See, rose gold would look really nice with them as well, wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't if it? you bought our early yeah. bird with the rose gold findings. Gosh. Do you know, one, one of the strands has clarity and the other doesn't. Have a look at them both together. I would mix them both together. I that would. The ring is beautiful. <laughs> very, very sunset, aren't they? These are beautiful. I, I just want these. I think they're absolutely stunning. Think about these as individuals. Let me just count them before you get your price up because I think if these are rings, how much would you sell that ring for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the one strand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the other. <sighs> They're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. I think these colours, I just really, uh, they're very warming. We're going to give you an incredible deal. Make rings, make these individual wire wrap pendants and think about your profit margins if you are creating jewellery that you sell on. These are just $17.95. They're very luxurious and we are down to, uh, th this is a limited duo actually. We've put them together for you, uh, sold separately previously to this and we're giving you a saving by buying them as a two. Now, I just can't wait to see what you're going to create with these. And you know what? We're about to be inspired by you again, as we are so every day in the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Welcome back. I just love these turquoise tones. Number 58 is gorgeous and it's from Lorna in Dorset. Hi all, still loving the shows when I get to watch. This week's Wall of Fame entry was inspired by someone else's entry. I loved it so much. It's all about inspiration, isn't it? Praying on a win so I can buy tons more. Love from Lorna in Dorset. Lorna, I love these tones too. A bit of gold, gorgeous. Marky, what just have you got? So How shit, Downton is that? Oh, like Sheila's yesterday. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the next one I have is from Susan. Um, Cup Ride in Cumbria. Good morning all at JM. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It is my take on breastplates worn by American Indians. Mm. It's made from red imperial jasper, magnesite and black shell or from jewellery maker. I made it for a western theme competition. Hope you all like it. Lots of love and that's from Susan in Cumbria. Fantastic. I've just got to grab this one because we've mm. got to be really quick because I have to show everybody this one. The Sari Silk. Amazing. I absolutely think this is brilliant. Nesta has um, is saying hi to everyone. Second attempt at sari silks, love them. Easy to work with. She needs a big win so that she can make some more. I'm so sorry we can't read all of your messages, but I just, I think that is absolutely adorable, Mark. And Beautiful. I'm gonna give you mine, we've gotta be really okay. quick. Next one I have is number 59, and this is from Emma in Derby. Latest entry wall of fame with a while ago, pink wire and red calcipyrite. Number 59. 
I've got number 60 and it's from Elizabeth in uh, Northern Ireland and she says good morning all at JM this is my entry for the wall of fame this week the gems are from two different bead scoops I bought they have citrine and amethyst and I'm very pleased with the way they have worked together it was very time consuming but worth the effort good luck to everyone for the draw best wishes Elizabeth now um, I love this now I just want to again draw your attention to the sari silk before we go because I really think it's important to show you what you can create out of newer mediums here at Jewelry Maker and it's glorious it, you yeah, really it's must have a go at it Mark because textiles are amazing have a look at this she says she gets so much joy from a parcel every day and a big a big thank you to the call centre staff now after the break I'm going to give to you yours number 57 again after the break we're going to give you that frosted mookite I just can't wait to see it look at those colors the frosting is incredible for masculine jewelry or for feminine jewelry now send your pieces in to the wall of fame because the inspiration that we get from you I just can't tell you how wonderful it is we will be right back with this gorgeous strand of mookite after this Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she teaches you the basics of making personalised rings from silver clay. During the course of the day, you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing, and how to add colour to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters, and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. designers Debbie Bulford and Rachel Norris to explore the endless possibilities of combining polymer clay and wire work. This DVD includes a bubble necklace, a heart-shaped pendant, the leaf technique and a butterfly pendant. Advance your designs and fuse your talents together with this amazing DVD. To get your hands on a copy contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. These fabulous mookites are brand new. We've never seen anything like it. As soon as I walked into the gallery and saw these going around the Lazy Susan today, I stopped in my tracks and went, Frosted Mookite! I just, I think this is such a fantastic strand. It is, as Oliver just said to me, he just came over to the desk and said, this is the ultimate autumnal strand. It absolutely is. 
I do think we've got opportunities here to create jewellery for both the chaps and for the ladies as well. I think we've got opportunities to mix mediums with a strand like this. I definitely think putting these in, because my friend I was talking to you who's a jewellery maker, uh, is starting to make flowers out of leather for rings and they're beautiful and I just think a frosted gemstone like this would make a wonderful wonderful contrast to that leather medium that's being used out there hopefully I'll try and uh, get Hannah to bring you the little leather petals because they're fabulous and and you know what she sells a lot of them these will be wonderful in the center of a flower wonderful next to polymer clay I love that you've got the frosting what do you make of it? So they, they've got this wonderful sort of chalky, chalky look to them, but such a fabulous waxy texture yeah, when well, you touch them. Mark, what would you do with I've these? I've never seen anything like it. Me either. I love them. I've never seen anything like it. What I like is you've got you've got a good amount of each colour in that single strand. Yes. So you you could if you wanted to go down the the, the, the Shambhala route. I mean, you've got at least five of each on that particular strand you've got. Um, and all these satin and silk cores that we've got at the moment and leather, black leather. Just gorgeous imagine, or brown leather tan leather would look gorgeous with this too i'm thinking if you've been working with the felts with the yes. needle felt yes. it look great with those i also think they're all uh, they're almost kind of like a an autumn fruit basket a harvest basket aren't they of color you've got your dams and plums your blackberries in here you've got those Fabulous! They're sort of apple, you know, like a real um, the, the lighter apples, the, the um, crab apple mm -hmm. yellow. That's yes, what these yes. are like, crab apple yellow. I just think you've got such a wonderful, wonderful array of tones. Now you can take sections of colour, or you can individualise these. You can put one or two together. Shambhala style bracelets these will look great with I just think you've got a, n a, a new look for your jewelry designs don't forget if you've been d making jewelry for a while now your customers need to be introduced to new items new gemstones will create a new look and you can't you can't keep mark um, relying on the exact same designs all the time because your customers have already got most of them that's right and, and I do the same craft fair every month and you get the same customers coming in. You get you get your you know your regulars as I call Do them. Do you? And they're always every time they come up to the store, they're oh anything new in? Got anything new? Got anything new? So to have something like this, I've just started using frosted shell pearl on my stand, and it's oh, really lovely. popular. So this this is sort of the next the next step up, isn't it? They're just beautiful. You've got to get these then. If, if yeah, you've got oh, that doubt. customer, if yes. you're at home, anything new in? This is it. Yes. Look at this. Do you know what I'm thinking? This will look really nice with hemp cord. You'd yes, get a really gosh. rustic look with hemp cord. Yeah, you're right. Beautiful. Get yourself on the phone lines. We are going to give you an incredible price tag. Brand new. And this $6.95 is far too low for any Mookite strand. But this isn't just any Mookite strand. This is a strand that is different to anything that you've got in your collection. We've never seen Mookite like this in this huge 10 mil. And don't forget the 10 mil round is so versatile within your designing. You can use a 10 mil round for a stretchy. You can use a 10 mil round for a pair of earrings, for a beady bead, for a spacer, for a focus point you can make um, big pendants out of 10 mil rounds at six pounds and 95 pence you have got yourself a fabulous price tag even if you're just making autumnal bracelets this is fantastic can be a unisex gemstone absolutely I love those rustic tones definitely the word rustic is coming across to me when I'm looking at this so then I'm thinking about using antique bronze wire as well it's definitely it, I, I love it feels warm I want to I want to put a nice warm <laughs> cardi on with this you know chunky jewelry for wearing it in autumn and winter mark perfect and as you were talking about coloured wires if anyone's got the sort of the rose gold copper colour wire yeah every single colour on that strand would go with that wire I think so too it's beautiful it is isn't it Mookite's my mum's favourite she'll be watching today you can say hello Mrs Smith <laughs> Mrs Smith she loves Mookite Joan not Joan that's right yes Joan it yeah, is Joan yeah well remembered hello morning Joan she'd Joan Smith yeah, in Whitney in Whitney Oxford. Oxford. Yeah, she'd love this strand. 
Lucky Joe. Beautiful. Six ninety-five. Check out baskets if you are shopping with us today online. Now. Mm -mm. Oh my right. I have got for you a bundle that includes ring memory wire. Now you might have got our memory wire DVD. Is that out yet? It is out, right? Memory wire DVD. Look at this. So you've got the ring memory wire. I just love something that goes boing. I could do that all day. Boing, 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 boing. Each one has 14 coils. Now, the great thing about memory wire rings is you don't have to learn somebody's ring size mark, isn't no, it? No, no, that's right. No, that's perfectly right. You get 42 coils. If you bought the emerald nuggets, would I be able to buy, would I be able to make, Mark? I'm just going to get them out. What should I do with them? So you do, do, there we are. Would I be able to make an emerald ring really easily out of these? Well, these you, are sold out, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, if, if you took the smaller of the, of the chips, you could, absolutely. What I really like, some of the designers, I think, think Louise makes them, is you have five or six, and then you, you place the beads at different intervals so you get a diamond formation on the finger. It's beautiful. Oh, when they yeah. clasp back. Oh, yes. yes, I like that too. Yes, it's beautiful. How do you do that? Clever beading. I think so. It's beautiful. Clever beading. So it doesn't matter, sorry Ben, what size. That looks good as it is. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I quite like that. Yeah. <laughs> Will it move if I do one of those kind of. Um, oh, look. Yeah, it does. So you've got all this memory wire. Oh, no, that's not everything. Oh, no, it's not. We're going to give you ribbon in gorgeous colours. Three spools with 14 coils on each. And I'm going to give you all the ribbon to go with. 42 coils, spoils, spoils, spools, spoils, coils. Toil and trouble. 42 coils all together. Now, all this, all this ribbon comes oh I love these colours you we've got those really pretty colours and then we've got the, we got the pastels and the brights now the brights you've got your Christmas colours in there I'll show you the brights first and you get both packs so you've got your green and red now if I was packing people's Christmas gifts uh, this is what I would do it with they don't have to be uh, we you I mean you can use these for Kuma Hemo Shambhala style, loads you can do with ribbon, but also think about your packaging, making your pieces look gorgeous with ribbon. You have got the red and you have got the green. I'm going to wrap that around there so that it doesn't all ping out. I'm going to make Cass's life easier today. Cass. Why have we got Cass? I'm Cass loves ribbon. So you've got the red. You've got the yellow, which I think can be sort of goldish. See, how Christmassy is that? Then you've got the lime green. Then you've got your purples. Turquoise. Oh, Kaz, you're gonna love me. Let me just coil that one, looks like it's gonna go boing. So you've got your turquoise in there as well. What we should do is just put this in little um, bunches so that it never goes bedoying. You know that thing about, well, I think it's called forward thinking? Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I never practice, but I'm trying to. Now, let's see, you've also got the blue and the pink. Oh, I, I haven't even shown you the pastels yet. You've got loads. Anyway, look, look at all of this. You've got loads. Oh, now he tells me. Oh, yeah, I've got a photo of these on. You didn't need to get them all out. Now he blinking tells me. You want to see them out of the packet? You're just trying to wind Cassie up. Now, you've also got... These are my favourites, and I'll show you why. Do you think I should change my belt for this gorgeous ribbon here? Look at this lovely colour. 
You could make like an embellishment. I love it. I love that color. I think it's stunning. Like an apricot. It's like an apricot. I'm gonna keep these, you know, apricots. Uh, they're like apricots, but American. Now you've also got this lovely yellow. Oh, I love this kind of bright. Look at these together, aren't they stunning? Do I get two minks? Oh, they're slightly different shade of mink. Have a look. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I love it. Mark, talk to me about your use of ribbon. Where do you use it? Well, like, like you, I use it a lot for, um, if you're doing macrame, you can plait different colours together and then do the macrame. Um, but I use it a lot for, for wrapping. For wrapping? For, for presents and, and gifts. Oh, for and present gift, wrapping. I thought you meant for wrapping. You wrap <laughs> now, I just think they're so pretty, these colours, aren't they? Those pastels are beautiful. I love them. They're great if you're making mm. big pendants and you want a lightweight um, yes, yeah. uh, chain to hang them on. Instead of using actual chain, you can use these mm. around the neckline, a cord. There we go. Look at all the ribbon I've got and the white. Three spools with 14 coils of bracelet ring memory wire. All of this ribbon one price 10 no 20 different colors of, of um of ribbon now you got about how much i reckon what over 20 quid worth of value here isn't it oh it's 70 gosh i'd have paid more than that when you think about how far this is going to go and how much ribbon you use we're going to give you a really amazing price tag now so be as quick as you can Good, isn't it? Seven pounds and 95 pence. Have you ever used the ring memory wire before? If not, this is your bundle. Get it in your life. You have got, don't forget, 14 coils on one. Look at that. And these are things that mark, you make often memory wire rings. I've, I've, I've made a couple. Oh, you haven't made loads? No, 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 no. You but must. I've, yeah, but um, well, I think Louise has made some amazing ones on it. Uh, might be on her DVD. If I not Louise's, they'll be on Debbie's. Debbie's first memory wire DVD. She shows you how to make rings using memory wire. And you can add that to your basket for just £4.95. Mm. If you've never tried it, pick up the phone and dial. Give it a try. 7.95 all these colors and a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee what's your favorite color out of these what are you going to make out of these i like these two together i like the pastels they're my favorite these two together i can see myself making sort of like a rosette style brooch out of and nice with the yellow as well look isn't that lovely oh i love that it's very bridal if we could go with me dress with us I love, actually, all these pastels together are lush, aren't they? I like this minty one as well. Gorgeous bundle, isn't it? Now, here you go, Cass. Sorry. Sorry about this. Sorry, Cass. I'd do anything for you, Cass. Anything for you, mean. <laughs> Come back, there's more to me. She doesn't want to speak to me anymore. You know that I'd risk anything. Don't you want to sing with me anymore? Come on. <laughs> Come on. If you don't mind having to go without things, it's a fine. Who can resist? Um, Papa. No, nothing. Come on. Yeah, I, I've still got more for you. Um, Papa. Um, Papa. Don't you know that one, Ryan? No one can resist that. It's not random, we're singing all of the songs. Yes. Not oompa loompa dumpa dee doo. Um papa. No? No. No. Now. Oh, reds. Oh. We very rarely get reds. Here you go, Cass. Don't forget. Don't forget these. We very rarely get reds. 
Are you creating Christmas jewellery? Now, Mark, have you, have you nearly completed it? How hard did you find it to get red in your Christmas Sorry. collection? I think all I've used in, in red is um, a dyed red agate and coral. As you said, it's really difficult to get hold of. There are, and mm. red is yes. probably one of the most important colours. If you do um, keep up with trends, think about Valentine's Day. Of course we need red. Christmas, mm. we need red. Autumn, red. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I must teach you uh, my flapping arms means sneezing dance, Ryan. Because <laughs> Ryan was looking at me going, what's wrong with her? She's going insane. Uh, <laughs> have a look. You're just not as quick as Ben. Ben is highly equipped at recognising my sneeze dance. Look at these reds. Now, they are important, Mark, aren't they? Um, seasonally, especially, I think, at Christmas time. Would you agree? Absolutely. And I use, I like use a lot of red when I'm using black. Black Brutal Quartz and a red yes. gemstone. Oh, You just yeah. can't beat them. Can't beat it. What if you bought the uh -huh. emerald? Now, there's a Christmassy bundle. Wow. Oh, I love that. It is the berries and leaves. Now, red gemstones, are we, I, I think these are going to sell out very quickly. Now, so many people ask us, why, why, why haven't you got a, a red? Because we can't get it, it's really difficult. Now, I need you to know something very important about our coral as well, because people ask this often. All of our gemstones are ethically sourced including our coral now if like me you were sort of unaware that hang on a minute coral needs to be i actually just thought it was a plant but actually it's a well it's a living -y kind of fish eating plant i don't know what it is um but it dries out when it's washed up um of course they, they there was a time and it probably might happen now when um, coral was being plucked from its living quarters which is unethical so we don't do that we wait and a hannah Roxbury knows exactly where we get it and ours is uh, coral that's been washed up into shore so absolutely no corals harmed in the making of these strands you have got that beautiful beautiful coral in the tubes and with that you get the most amazing patterns now you've also got your your wheels your red shell wheels and your red chalcedony we're going to give you the price tag as quickly as we can because uh, laura's just said alarm bells these are going to sell out alarm bells these are going to sell out says laura for 12.95 you can enjoy four strands think about mixing these with gold love the fact that you've got a mix here no mark of textures size and shape important for your stash Absolutely. we were talking earlier about rounds being your staple size but to have as we've got you've got fusted rounds in here but those little rondelles and i'm a huge fan of rondelles and the tubes just beautiful i've got to give you a stock update everybody these are about to sell out we have now got low stock they're going to go out. They're very, very festive. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, in, real, in all seriousness, if you're not checking out your baskets, you're going to miss out to a telephone call right now. There is a little bit of a race for these, so you've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. If, like me, you can't bear losing things, now you need to, if you don't check baskets out, that feeling is going to be yours. I can't even lose the mother's race on sports day. That stays with me. I came, I came second this year. No prizes for being second. I'm going to try harder. I've been training now. These will sell out. Now, single figures left of these. Now I'm going to move on. Oh, do you know what? These just make me... I love them. How do you feel about these, Mark? Because I just <laughs> Amazing, love them. You Absolutely. and I have had a strand of these together before, and I've just mm. got to say, it's jewellery to take out dancing with you. That's the kind of strand that these create. And I do like a dance. Have a look at these. Look at that. They're gorgeous. One of these in a ring, and what would you sell that for? 15 pounds, depending on the design. What about with that 1.5 we had yesterday, Laura? 
How gorgeous would that look? I love it, Shambhala style. Bracelets look awesome. Earrings, of course, let them move, let them catch the light. These are definite cocktail dress pieces. You are just going to be decorating yourself with gorgeousness. If you're making jewelry for yourself, think about New Year's Eve, think about Christmas time, when you're going out to the parties, and oh, it's just a fun time, isn't it, to be around. Now, also think about if, if you're, well, Christmas season, these are gifts. Giftables, they're gorgeous. I well, they actually these are going to create the jewelry that um, I would go and buy for myself for going out, you know. And Mark, with these gorgeous, look at the sparkle coming from these. We don't have many black gemstones to give you sparkle like this, like little black diamonds, aren't they? Black spinel. I always think these look like black diamonds. What a stunning duo. What are you going to do with the... I love them. They're making me smile, actually. You want to put loud music on and have a dance, don't you? When you got... Do you know what I mean? Look at them. I think they're fabulous. What do you reckon, Mark? Purple wire, turquoise wire, Celtic bangles. Purple yeah, wire, yeah. turquoise wire, Celtic bun. That black spinel, yeah. do you know, you can see, can't you, why people think it's a black diamond. I've got a black diamond ring and they do look like, uh, do you know, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I've got, I've got a diamond ring that's got white and black diamonds in it. If those black diamonds were replaced by a spinel, I wouldn't notice. That's how much wow. they, they look like black diamonds to me. Have you seen the black diamonds that we've got out there? Yeah. Don't you think they look like, just like black spinel? No, right, I just think like they that. do. These are fantastic. They're dancing around your kitchen kind of gemstones, aren't they? Love them. You've got to have this. It is definitely a party time pizzazz bundle. Rainbow night is what Laura's called this. I like boogie nights. I love it. Yesterday, Mia and her friend came home and I was singing Selena Gomez in the kitchen just to embarrass her. But it was that kind of, you know, it, it's that kind of dancing around. Really. When you ready, come and get it. And I was going, na na na. And she was like, stop. Look at these. They're fabulous. But you know what I mean? When you see jewellery that you're going to go out with the girls wearing, you've got a glamorous night booked. Maybe you've got, you're going out to dinner. You know, we all like those sometimes, few and far between if you're my age, Laura, but you kind of <laughs> young, young, free. Out you go. You're not single, but that might happen soon if he doesn't pop the question. You know, you'll be out there again. You'll be out there. They're gorgeous. What about using the, the memory wire ring you just had? Black spinel memory wire ring. Good idea, Laura. That's why you're here. Let's give you an awesome price tag for this fabulous, just fun feeling duo. There, there is a huge fun feel with these two together. Now, Ben, you're seeing these colors. You're a party kind of lad. Would you wear these in cufflinks if you were a cufflink wearer? Yes, I would. Yes, you would. Ryan's saying he would. What about you? Oh, Mark, these look amazing against your black shirt. Yes, Cufflinks, yes. wouldn't they? Just fun. Now, Mark's never been to a nightclub, anyone. Never. <laughs> Nobody believes you, Mark. It's true. Never, Laura. Never. Ed's saying he's a party animal, of course. I'm telling you, maybe we should take him. He did not go. Ed's going, he went last night, he came straight from the club this morning. No, it's true, he's never been to I'll a tell nightclub. I what I was doing last night. I was, I was on Facebook watching Ed's messages coming through every five minutes about football transfers. That's what I was doing last night. Oh yeah, night. he was doing, you were doing that, Ed. Yes. Every couple of minutes, football transfer <laughs> updates. <laughs> <laughs> Laura went, yeah, I'm, I've got to say, I'm going to delete you as a friend. <laughs> Look at these. How much, do you know, how much would you pay for a black diamond ring? Aren't these gorgeous? Do you know, they're just super glamorous together. <gasps> Stop! You know what I've forgotten that would look amazing with these, Mark? Mm -hmm. The gold S bracelet. Oh yes. The goddess bracelet would look 
fabulous with these. It's the facets, it's a disco ball of gorgeousness in your ears, around your neckline, on your wrists. All of this, for, now think about your profits. Wow. Under 10 pounds is gonna create two of these, the, two of these maybe, maybe a black spinel at the top of each one, a pair of earrings. Is this, is this an uber profit maker for you? Is this an uber profit maker for you? I think this is a wonderful opportunity to grab yourself. What about the price tag? Isn't it wonderful? So low. Well, you, you know what my earrings are priced at? It's two pairs of earrings and that's the strands. That's it. Paid and you've for. paid for them. Yeah. Everything else after that is for your pocket, mm. which I like. Which I like. 9.95. Now, my darling jewellery makers, I'm going to give you a recap of our early bird findings. All of these findings will go so well. And, and I just think if you, like Mark, allow yourself a budget for your, a, a budget for your findings, then this one's for you. Think about, the, what, like I always say, the worst case scenario, someone ringing you up and saying to you, I, I need this, but I need it in a couple of days time. Is there any chance? I know it's, and you saying no to your customer, because where's your customer gonna, gonna go? To somebody else, gone from you. And you know what? If you've got your findings, you're there. You've got, you've got, you're ready to design. You never want to, you never want to run out of crimp beads. You wouldn't be able to see all that loop to make that necklace. You wouldn't be able to, you go to create an, a bracelet beyond a stretchy. You wouldn't be able to add those little embellishments of sparkle in between gemstones. You've got to have crimp beads. Don't ever, in your jewelry making life, Come have a situation where you don't have enough crimp beads to complete a project. Maybe you're right at the end of something and you're scouring around the floor trying to find the crimp bead, hoovering up and then emptying the contents for one crimp bead. Forget it. Life's too short. You have got, we reckon, we estimate about 2,000 crimp beads. Then you've got just under 980 of the silver balls. Think about your skinny macrame, your micro macrame with these. Think about putting these in between designs. Think about actually spacing out gemstones, allowing you to make your gemstones go further. But not just that, if you're working with pearls, these don't just have a design element, they also have a function, don't they? Because you don't want your pearls to rub together because it can damage them. So if you are separating your pearls, these are essential. If you don't want to work with knots, you'd rather work with these. These are essential. Not just pearls, Mark, other gemstones that you don't want to rub together. Well, I was thinking, if anyone has managed to get hold of Gemma's um, beading with beading thread DVD. She uses hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crimp beads. Hundreds of crimp beads. Mm. We all do as jewellery yeah. designers though, don't we? Then you've got your rose gold findings, very popular, 98 of those. You've got a metre of chain in here. And you've got the, tradi these are the traditional findings. So you've got the heart, um, toggle clasp, you've got the round, you've got hitting myself on the wrist made me, reminded me of what it was called. Less than 50 are left, these will sell out in the live show, I do anticipate that. GNG C86, if you've just come back from the school run, because those darlings have gone back to school, let me show you a deal for today. 12 pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. Now we're recapping, most of the stock has already been allocated, so you need to be Quick, quick, quick. It is lovely to have your company this morning. Don't forget to uh, keep interactive with us, 60777JM Studio, followed by your message. Let us know about a situation where you may have run out of findings and where did that lead? Text us in. And are you thinking now that you need to advise anybody out there to get your findings? Don't leave yourself short. Have you had that bad situation where you've had to say no to somebody or where you're in the middle of a project and you've had to just leave it and wait for that delivery? There's nothing worse than waiting. Waiting, 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 is there? You need it now, now, now. I am, I can't, I'm so impatient. Are you impatient? Because I can see that you're probably quite impatient. I'm not. No. I get impatient for, like, if, if Lee's talking to me and he's saying something, I think, I know what he's going to say. I'll finish the sentence for him and he'll go, let me speak. Because <laughs> I'm like, come on, <laughs> come on. Life's ticking away here. You've got rose gold, e-coated copper, and it has been... And that e-coating is really important, isn't it? And, and all our findings are e-coated because it makes them hypoallergenic. 
which is important. You don't, you, you know, uh, and you can download loads of information about that off our website and, and offer it to your customers. Now, Mark, you you always um, you do advise downloading all of the uh, certificates and the information from our website for peace of mind for your customers. Oh, absolutely, and, and um, every craft fair that I go to, at least one person will will ask. Is it real? Is it real? So they just can't I believe know. that we can we can stock these things at, at a craft fair. So no, they really can't. And no. if I'm honest with you, Mark, mm -hmm. if I see jewellery and someone goes, "This is that," and this is that, it's like turquoise. I'll go, "That's not real turquoise." You know, like we are. I am the biggest skeptic ever, and I love it when someone turns me and goes, "Actually," and I'm like, "Yes," I, I love being convinced of something. I do. Now. This is going to sell out. The early bird is about to sell out. Stay on the phone if you're there. But if you're not, oh, you better get there quick because it's very likely that the call centre tell you it's gone and sold out. <gasps> I don't even want to talk to you, Laura Taramasalata, for the things that you just said in my ear. Now, Mark, what's my favourite colour? Green. What do we get asked more times than any other with our kits? Can we have the same gemstone in three different sizes? Why? Why do we ask? Can we have the same gemstone in three different sizes? I know the answer. I do, because I, I always need them too. You need to graduate. And when we have a kit and you want to graduate with the same, you, we hardly ever do this. Green for me is, the, no. Hang on a minute. Before I give you garden room, conservatory Ooh. you mean? <laughs> Is that a garden room? Greenhouse? Summer house, let's call it summer house. I'd call mine the orangery. If I the had orangery, a, yeah. If I had a yeah. That goes around the, yeah. yeah. But normally they're made of glass, not double glazed, aren't they, orangeries? Anyway, um, now, this kit is going lower than the price tags we give you kits our regular price tags on the evening show. Now you've got to be on the phone if you want this. You've got gorgeous greens, three different sizes of gemstones, findings, um, everything you need. You, but if you're not quick in adding, and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee, you need to be on the phones. On the phones now. Now when situations like this happen, I say to you, get on the phone eyes. If after we have seen the price tag, you have the power and you think, Jenny, what's she on about? That's not a good price. You have the power to do this not having it but if you see the price tag and you go whoa all that for that price tag and you go to get on the phone lines the call center may tell you i'm so sorry it's sold out you've got the choice now get on the phone lines now i'm going to show you what you've got Three different sizes of green adventure. And green for me is one of the most important colors that you can have. I love that it goes with everything. It goes with everything in, in nature. Here is your beautiful rolling meadows. Here, here is the color of nature. The early bird has sold out. The emerald has sold out. We are very busy today. I think it's because everybody's kids have gone back to school and all of you jewellery makers have actually got peace, freedom, and you're not watching CBeebies. You're watching Jewellery Maker. Get on the phone lines. Because I love CBeebies, don't get me wrong. Get on the phone lines now because this kit, I think, is going to sell out within minutes. Now, you have got all your beading material. Of course, you've got 98. Oh, stop! You've also got black agate fasted drops. When you see what Mark has made, I've got those are my earrings right there. I love them. Now, they're going to sell out. I'm telling you, in all my experience here at Jewelry Maker, for what you're getting, before, hang on, before I bring the findings, Laura, I want to bring the price tag because I don't want anybody to miss out on the phone lines. Brand new today, this kit is going to sell out. Are you ready? $14.95. Are you bananas? Are you bananas? I love this with bananas. Is this going to be a major profit maker for you? You've got 98 findings in this kit, a meter of chain, your toggle class, so you've got absolutely everything that you need to create gorgeousness. 
And that's what you're going to create because green is fabulous. Look at those drops. Look at those facets. Think about flowers. When you see Mark's jewellery, oh, you're going to love it. Mark, can you believe that this is $14.95? Look at everything you get. There's all your findings. Are you ready to trot on with me, Ben Ben? We're trotting now. Ben, I'm disappointed to see that there's a lack of tweed going on with you. We had an agreement yesterday. You've not stuck to this agreement. Yes, oh no. Let's go, I'm going. Can you believe, can you believe that this kit is 14.95? 50% of the entire stock has now gone and been sold out. Let's look at Mark's jewellery. Have a look at this. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Now, these earrings are going in my ear. Before they do, I'm going to show everybody what they're like. Have a look. I love them. They're gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. How much would you sell these for, Mark? What's... Um, 750 this is going to sell out in the like oh absolutely you've got to be you must check baskets out now have a look what I want you to see if you did manage to get our early bird before it start before it sold out what I want you to see is what Mark's done here now spacing out your gemstones by using a metal this is exactly why mm. we wanted graduated rounds this is exactly what we wanted the same gemstone in three different sizes do you see the fluidity of the graduation that Mark's achieved with this kit the only reason he's been able to achieve that fluidity in the graduation is because he had three different sizes in the same gemstone that's what this creates now have a look we've also got some now this is almost like cradling can you see you've well, almost done like a the, cat's cradle there when I when I first received the kit because we had all three sizes I was I was playing around and experimenting with what I was going to do with them and they reminded me of peas in a pod oh yeah I like and, that um, so the, Again, it, it, it's, um, it's herringbone macrame. This is gorgeous. I do love a piece that has that. Look at that. No, this, this kit is uber low stock, so I really need to encourage you to check out Baskets. If you are shopping on the phone lines, stay where you are. I am so sorry if you're experiencing engaged tones. Please keep trying, but I now cannot guarantee stock of this kit if you're not in the race now you need to be very, 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 very quick. Now these earrings are futuristic, aren't they? They're very Jetsons and I love that. I love it, it's so nice to have, and, and you know like you were saying, your customer comes up to you and says, got anything new for me? Mm. Uh, this is the kind of thing, just really, they'd be great pendants, Ryan's just said. You know what, um, these are the kind of thing you introduce to your customer. Regular customers are come back and back and back. They want you, they want it, they're almost challenging you every time they oh, come yes. to you and they're like you. expecting you to say no and when you say yes they'll take it away every time mm. they've come there because they love your jewelry well, what I really like, what I'm getting at the moment is some they, they, they test me at the moment they come up and saying I bet you haven't got opal um, got there there oh I've got some here as well well I bet you haven't got real turquoise yeah, well, well, um, I've got some there and there and um, pop and diamond yeah, all that. right, where's yeah. your diamonds? You're yeah. all right, you got me there. You got me there. Yeah. Now, um, yes, we need to go back upstairs and talk to Hannah about them. Remember those lovely rough cut diamonds mm. we had once? Yes. Let's do, let's, and you've made a ring out of this. Now, I can't believe, did we see these earrings on the end as well? I'm not sure. I'll bring them over, I'll bring them over here. There you go. Uh, so much jewelry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Did you have anything left or did you use everything? Everything. Use everything. Yeah. Now, you've only spent fourteen ninety five on this kit. You've only used elements of this kit for your jewellery mm -hmm. are you going to expect a good enough profit from making this kit if you are a jewellery maker not everybody sells on but if you are a jewellery maker who does okay uh, I'll take those and those yeah and that's profit these pay for your kit and this is profit mm. <laughs> How wonderful. Slightly. <laughs> How wonderful. Now, while I steal stroke model these earrings, okay. I will allow your demonstration <laughs> to go on. Okay. Off you go, Marky. Well, what I'm are you going, going to demonstrate to for us? Futuristic the, earrings. The futuristic earrings. And these are really good if you've got 0.4 wire at home with all the different colours that we've got at the moment. Fab. Um, they, they, I just love them. Absolutely love them. And these is exactly the same as the peapod necklace. But you've drawn it together? Yes. Okay, so, so let's have a look. So what we've got on the board here is I've got two lazy strands mm -hmm. because the holes will warrant that with the be because these beads are so large. 
and I've got two small, one either end, two of the medium size and one large in the middle. What I like is the, is the, is the medium of the three strands is slightly darker so you get that graduation in colour yeah. as well. So I've got three working strands which I've done knotted with a single knot and I've done three sets of the herringbone knot. Okay, just, just to this with to, for the earring to be started. And then we take one of the beads and we place it up until the, until the wire starts. And we take the top set and mm. we do one herringbone knot. So we do one underneath like so. And we cage it in nice and tight. Now with the ordinary herringbone, as most of the viewers would have seen me use before, you would take the next set of two and then the following set of two, so you'd have three sets of cords. But for this stitch, which I've named the corset stitch, you've Ooh seen that la before. La. Okay, so you've, you've caged the first bead, yeah. and you take up the second one, mm -hmm. and you take the next set from the top. Again, this is a, a, just to t show you how essential it is for certain pieces to have the same gemstone, but in different sizes, to allow you to create a graduated look. Okay, so we bring that up to the top. Pull nice and tight. And then we take up the middle bead, which is the large one. Mm -hmm. And then this again, the third set underneath, like so. This is very neat and tidy. I actually, can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. I find macrame a lot easier with this than cord. Would you say this is a great Beaded medium to start out with? Because I just find it less fiddly, Mark. See, we, we had the workshop a couple of weeks ago on the Friday before I went away, and all of the ladies had never used beading thread before. And um, they, they all thought, well, shall I, shan't I, shall I? And they all loved it. Absolutely love beading thread because you've got that, you've got that movement and it's, it's, not, um, it's not fly away, I think I call it. So we do the group of five beads like so. What about the moo kite with this, Mark? With this about green. to sell out. We've got. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. It's sold out. It's gone, and it? I'm just thinking. I'm just going to lay the mukite strand across there. And we're going to put the graphics on because this I with just those think. When, yeah, and I love the greens together yeah. with that mukite. No, perfect. Is that annoying you? There is it no, okay. No, no, no. Mukite so strand details on your screen right now. Frosted. These are like no other mukite that we have here at Jewelry Maker. They're frosted. If you want something different and remember what Mark's telling me every time his regular customers got anything new yes is your answer I hate answering no they're only six ninety five. so with the money you've saved with the kit if you've already opened a basket pop this one in your basket because you know what you get the first PMP and the rest my darling jewelry makers is on us Marky what are you doing what for right so you're continuing on with your design yep so we're just going to replicate what we've got at the top here okay I love the way this hugs. I, no, it really is. I cannot, I cannot stress enough how much easier I find. And this is, per, you know, everybody's got their own personal preferences. But I think that beading thread is the easiest way to start macrame. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Because you don't really get tangled is. up. No, no, not at all. So it's just nice and tight. But and you then, can still undo it if you go wrong. No, absolutely. And then what I do then is, sorry, no, is I just flip, let's flip that over. Oh. On into its Why are you back, flipping over? Because we want to tie this off. Oh. Now with beading thread, this is why I love beading thread. Okay. I just reattach that at the bottom quickly. Yeah. Is you take this top set. Is it is this beading board essential for macrame? Can I do it without it? You could do it with a board, but you'd have to keep taking it off all the time. This macrame board, sorry, yeah, not yeah. So all we do is we do a single knot and cut them away. Okay. Sorry, I had my big blonde head in the way then, didn't I? Like so. Snip. So we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that I've... I've um, You're knotted. tying off now, yeah. right? It's because just this is the, fine that I, the yeah. thing that I find yeah. the most difficult. Is that what everybody says to yeah. you? Yeah. So if you just do a single knot and pull really hard, and then the metal, the metal will kink and it'll hold its shape. So we take it off the board, like so. Yeah. And then this is with the magic. So you gather up... That's going to stay now you've snipped that. It's not going to yeah. go anywhere. You're no, not, are you going to no. use jewelry glue? No, not with beading thread. OK. No. And then you just pull them up together and yeah. you get that sort of basket shape. So you gather up all of these ends that you've got left, just get them the same length, and feed them through one of the smaller beads. 
Anyone? Oh, right, okay. One of the small. Yeah. Oh, because you're going to secure it. I get it, yeah. I get it. Right. I thought you meant one of them. Oh, no, no. Put those well, all of those are going to go yeah. through there. You can get eight through one of these holes. Can you? And then you pull those, you gather those up nice and tight. I mean, you, this would be the same length if you were finishing off. I've just stopped a bit short there. And then all you would do then is just pop on a crimp bead, pop on your shepherd's hook, thread them back through again, and crimp nice and tight. You could put on a, a crimp cover if you wanted to. And then you get that sort of Jetsons. Well, as you said, for a, for a, uh, a pendant, that'd be fantastic. It is fabulous. It is totally a jet. Don't you think, find it kind of mm. futuristic, like the planets, like the yes. galaxy moving mm. around the... Oh, I love those. So here we have, oh, the, the kit is sold out. So here we wow. have the mukai on the screen for you. That fruit, frosted mukai, is, it is a definite fruit bowl full of color, isn't it? it my, my, I prefer on these sort of particular strands, sort of the lavender purples and the greys. Yeah. And um, I think it's Vicky likes mustards and yellows. I so do too. You do I too like, as well, no, they're, yeah. my, they're my favourites. Burgundy and mustard together is very mm. country. And yes, I was saying yes. to Ben just yesterday, oh, can you wear some. Uh, some mustard uh, cords and some, a flat cap to make <laughs> me feel like I'm back at home today. Well, you'll know what I mean in the Cotswolds. That's I think how the next the time you and I work around. together, we should have a tweed day. We, I've got Country tweed day, well. absolutely. The Sorry. first day of autumn, we should dress. Okay. I'll get my tweed out. Okay, I'll, I'll tweed up as well. Um, can I wear my uh, Can I wear my proper my proper boots? Okay, I think we're brilliant. I'll, I'll put my Ariats on. Yeah. Well, Other boots are available. Should you have bales of straw dotted around? And I can get yeah. straw. That'd be cool. In fact, there's probably some in my car right now. <laughs> We'll have a tweed day. Sorry, yeah, let's do it. Day. Should I bring a horse in as well? Yeah, tell Why not? In the car park. Why yeah. not? Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> what a million things could it spook at? Now, uh, I'm going to go back every okay. sentence. Thank you so much. The kit having now gone out, I'm going to take this smooth kite with me. Come with. I definitely think this would be perfect for our one for the chaps uh, DVD. If you're looking to create jewellery that has that gorgeous country feel. Do you love jewels and Bowden? I went into the jewel sale the other day and they had the most gorgeous burgundy boots with ribbons at the back. And for some reason, oh, because it's Mia's birthday, so I couldn't buy anything for myself. I didn't buy them. I was trying to convince Max that that's what he really wanted to buy Mia for <laughs> her birthday so that I could wear them because I've got the same, the same uh, shoe foot, I was about to say. The same size shoe. Now, have a look at these. They're gorgeous. Now, this silver moonstone, we've decided to rename the gemstone, is absolutely stunning. Look, look at that. Look at that Schiller. Wow. Now, I've never seen anything quite like this strand. Where would you use these for your designs? Don't you just love a top drawer gemstone? Do you think these are, do you know, again, dove greys. Yesterday we had the um, cloudy quartz, the grey cloud quartz. And I think if you're creating, do you know what these are going to go with? Look what Ed's just put on the desk. Isn't it gorgeous with citrine? What about our citrine rounds as well? Look at that. Oh, I really like that combination. Now, Mark, this caught our eye. Labradorite we adore. This is softer somehow. It's got that iridescence of moonstone. It's going to look wonderful with peach. Where are you going to put these? I'm going to use it with rose quartz. And what is it going to be? I think I'm going to wire at the bottom um, yeah. briolette wrap. The, the very tip of them where they're, yeah. 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 And then just suspend one rose quartz from the top, maybe a faceted I've got actually at home, I've got some mystic faceted rose quartz, eight mil. Just one of those on the top with a, with a drop suspended from the bottom. Oh, mystic faceted rose quartz. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do you know what? If you bought those stardust rondelles we gave you yesterday, oh, yes. yeah. rounds, sorry, as our early bird, how gorgeous would the, those look? Just in between each one, they'd look incredible. May I? Ryan, try these on as a, a necklace, sir. Thank you, director. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I've said, may I? I know I can. It's whether I may or not is the question. Have a look. Great for earrings. Wonderful pendants. Do you know, do you know what I love? I'm, I'm thinking Mark's going to probably identify with this too. The different shades of grey that you yes. get. I think you can get more shades of grey than green. 
Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Now, there are more than 50 Shades of Grey. Uh, Thank you, Ryan. I knew that was going to come. Isn't he bad? Isn't he bad? It was very, you're pretty, you've become predictable, Ryan. You're going to have to rethink <laughs> yourself. I'm bored with all of that, are you? They're bringing out a film, are they? Yeah. Every day is 50 Shades of Grey in my house. Have a look. No, not really. That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Oh well. <coughs> no, just the obviously. Anyway, every night should I? Say. No, why, why do I stop talking now? <laughs> how about that? How about how about my mouth shuts up? Have a look. Now, do you see what I mean, though? My point is, look at the shades here together. You've got real dove grey there and a real deep dark thunder cloud. I would say these are grey because of that. And I know that we want to call them silver, but actually, grey mm. is got think dove grey. Yeah. These are very pretty. Do you know what these are lovely with? Aventurine. Moonstone, as you know, is June's birthstone as well. What about with silver pearls? Yes. Yes, silver pearls. Now, have I told you that this strand it was 14.95 mark would you bite my arm off for it not for literally 14.95 yeah yes. if i told you it was 14.95 yeah. what if i told you it was 12.95 mark even better it's not going to be 12.95 is it how can you tell you know me so well <laughs> you know me so well how about this mark I love it when a plan comes together. You get to have these for under £10. And you know, as I do, especially if you've had the kids, especially if you've had the kids over the six weeks, there's not much you can get for under £10 that's going to last longer than five minutes. It's 9 95 for this strand, 0800 644 What say you, that's Mr. Amazing. Smith? amazing. That's fantastic. With that um, faceted quartz that we've got coming up later, Please make sure you uh, send us what you design with this, because I haven't seen anything like it. That's where we're going to go now, Marky. You and I and the Wall of Fame. Wow, look at that. I love it when you send us things it's in. Beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Why we're, And I love the use of colour here. Okay, this one I have is number 61. And this is from Pat. And Pat says, hi, all jewellery maker. This week, my entry is a wire work necklace. As Linda would say, it's sort of evolved. My inspiration came from Gemma, but I think all your designers are great. It's made from your lovely black wire with a few gemstones, including jade, small shell pearl, and quartzite. I think it's quite nice. Hope you all like it. Keep up the fab work to continue my addiction. I just love making jewellery, and I've watched you from the very, very, very beginning. Ooh. And I've watched you evolve into the great channel you are now. Thank you so much for this lovely hobby, and that's lots of love from Pat. Thank you, Pat. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Now that is a sexy piece of jewellery, isn't it? Number 64, I love it. Hi all, JM. Here is my entry for this week. I was so inspired by Gemma's creation. I had to make my own version. Everything is from JM and that is from Ber Bertie Cruikshank. It doesn't say where you're from, but Bertie, fantastic design. I love it. If you get, you might need to get in a bit actually. Look at that. Thanks. See how gorgeous that is, just because it's yeah, printed it's off cool. funny, isn't it? Fabulous. It's so intricate. What have you got okay. for me, Mr. Smith? Next one I have is number 62. And um, this is from Tracy. That threw Tracy me a bit McAvoy. there. Sent from my Android. I know. It's brilliant. <laughs> Hi, all. This week's Wall of Fame entry. 
uh, rose and clear quartz and moonstone chips on memory wire with rose quartz heart. Jewelry maker ribbon and findings. My daughter pinched this one as oh. a friend liked it so much. I made another one for her too. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Best wishes. And that's Tracy McAvoy in Cornwall. Oh, Number Tracy, 62. those pesky daughters. They have Beautiful. everything. <laughs> they do. Mia's now the same exact size as me. So, oh, like, no. nothing is safe in my house. Jeans, shoes, nothing. Hairspray, nothing. <laughs> Got in the shower the other day. Where's all my shampoo gone? Upstairs in Mia's bathroom. She steals everything. It's a girl thing, isn't it? Number 65. Look at this. I do love a matching set, and it's lovely to display it so nicely, isn't it? Isn't that Beautiful. ring gorgeous? And it looks like they're just being held there by mm. tension. What are these really sparkly ones? They're hematite, they're so sparkly. This is from Wendy. And Wendy says, hi, JM. Attached is a bracelet, earring, and ring set I made with recent purchase of hematite. It is hematite. I love that gemstone. It's very popular at the moment, isn't it? I have so many inquiries about hematite and requests to make more pieces to sell. I really have got the bug, and I'm addicted to JM. I do hope I'm lucky this week, as the old bag Bank balance is not doing so well. Keep <laughs> making us laughs. Wendy, there's always beans on toast, as long as you can jewellery make. It's gorgeous. Right, okay. okay the last well. one I have on this section is number 63. Um, I love the colour combination. We haven't beautiful. got long, actually. We've okay. got to... um, and this is from Pauline. And Pauline says, Hi, all at Jewellery Maker. Here is this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet made from black onyx, amethyst, highlighted with silver-plated copper beads, all from Jewellery Maker, and a short length of chain from my stash. I've made it for a commission as a friend who's staging a charity fashion show. Ooh. She was very pleased with them, and I hope she encourages her guests to part with their money. Hope this picture makes it to the Wall of Fame, as it always gives me a kick to see my work on the telly. Lots of love, and that's from Pauline, number 63. And if like Pauline, that is gorgeous. If like Pauline, you um, get a kick from seeing your jewellery on the telly, on telly, then uh, just send in your PC, studio at jewellerymaker.com. We will give you, is it .com? Yes, it is. Uh, we will give you the information of exactly how to enter our Wall of Fame. After the break, we've got loads more goodies coming up for you, including this beautiful sunny yellow citrine. We will be right back. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we have many stages of quality control, from lab tests all the way through to our own in house gemologists. We're confident with our quality, but we want to give you that peace of mind by offering you a 30 day money back guarantee. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF.
Yesterday, we brought to you the largest rounds of citrine that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker. They were 24 95 is that right? 21 95 Now, I've got for you another strand of rounds. These are smaller, slightly smaller than yesterday's. But as yesterday's strand was so popular, we had lots and lots of emails. So we have begged Hannah Oxbury after our show yesterday to please have the next strand, the last remaining strand of rounds with the most superior clarity in a 10 mil. Yes, those were 14. If you bought them, you can do that graduation. Now for me, yellow is most certainly the colour of chirpiness, happiness and just outright joy. I love yellow. It makes us want to sing every day. It's, it's said to be the colour of happiness and I agree with that. Well, you know, I, you know superstitions are something that I'm, I, I, I'm very, very passionate about. I am, which sounds crazy. Are you a superstitious guy, Marky? No, I don't think so. I mean, are you a um, saluter of the magpie? No. I am. Really? Yeah. Well, I was born on Friday the 13th. So, so was whether, my sister, So whether actually. you have an adverse reaction... No, I'm not, I'm not superstitious at all. Really? Mm. Well, can I just ask you to please suit, salute the singular magpie? I don't want anything bad to happen to you. If you see one oh, on okay. its own, yeah. just salute it. Do, okay. Not for you, just for me, okay. all right? OK. Now... <laughs> I've been known to go around roundabouts three times until I see the other magpie that's in the middle of the roundabout. Yeah, I can't bear it. And my kids have got this. People think they've got nervous twitches. It's not a nervous twitch, they're just saluting magpies. <laughs> <laughs> my friend said, what's wrong with your kids? Every time they're in the car, I don't think they like my driving. I was like, oh no, they're just saluting magpies. <laughs> now, with that said, just like sentiments can be offered with, up with gemstones, things like happiness, friendship, I just think they're important to get in your stash. You might not believe in them, but your customers, if they do, and that's me by the way, then they're going to grab it. You know what? Creating jewellery with such a bright and cheery gemstone is going to create such bright and cheery pieces, but subtly and beautifully. Now, citrine for me isn't just about being the gemstone of happiness. It's also a gemstone that offers us great beauty for our pieces, isn't it? And think about this. There aren't many gemstones that give you such a wonderful, wonderful clarity, such a fabulous warming glow. If you're thinking about buying our Beryl All Stars, I want you to think about getting this citrine strand. Now, Mark, we've got a strand here that offers us exceptional quality. We've got a strand of citrine. Talk to me about, because you are a jewellery maker. Oh, look, look, look at that. You are a jewellery maker that creates to sell. Mm -hmm. A lot of jewellery makers create to wear. You create to sell or create to give. Creating to sell, Mark. Yep. Talk to me on, on the, off the back of that. Why is citrine important? Is it in fact important? Is it popular with your customers? Um, it's one of those gemstones that people have heard of, but they, they're not actually sure what it looks like. They think because it's citrine, citrus, they, they automatically assume that it's yellow, but, but not a lot of people actually know that it is a yellow gemstone. Um, the problem that I have, because I make jewellery to sell, is I'm selling jewellery that I make that I like, and I've got to start getting into that habit of, of making jewellery that other people are going to like. Yes. So, so I solely use citrine with amethyst, the two of them. I love them together always, too. Always, always, because always together. Of, because of ametrine, yep, absolutely. you know they work. Yes, yep. Although having said that, Mark, about pushing your boundaries, if you know something works, stick with it. Mm. I'm going to put this against my neckline, if that's all right, because I want to show you how simply you can just make a, make a necklace and how effectively it looks great when you do that. Now, I'm going to show you. Have a look at this. Just a simple necklace like this. Now, if you were shopping and you had a yellow dress, this is the kind of necklace you would go for. Now, Oliver's just saying that this offers a very classic look. And actually, with that said, 
I would think about mixing these with pearls and there aren't many gemstones I will allow pearls to mix with Citrine is most certainly one of them. I think they're glorious together. I don't know how many pearls now to show you, but have a look together with these gorgeous green tones. Now that for me is a wonderful memory wire bracelet. Isn't that nice together? Is that Russian Amazonite by any chance? I'll talk to you about that later, Mark, because okay. it's a little bit exclusive. Okay. I knew you'd sniff that one out. Now, <laughs> I also think if you're using colours like this, you're creating delicate pieces, party pieces. Let's give you a wonderful price tag. Think about putting your um, wire through these. Think about kind of beading thread. The clarity is going to allow that window just to add to the effect. For £12.95, remember yesterday's vans were so beautiful. Bigger than this, I grant you, but they were £21.95. Right now you're getting citrine vans. Did you feel like the vans of yesterday were a little bit out of your price range? Maybe this one is for you. So maybe you did get those gorgeous big rounds. Maybe you want to allow yourself to make your jewellery go further. Then this one is for you, 240 carats of wonderful, wonderful citrine. The clarity is there. The colour, the glow is there. Stunning pieces of jewellery that you are going to create with this strand. Mix it with amethyst, it's gorgeous. A known gemstone, like rose quartz, amethyst, it is a known gemstone. Do you know, the first time actually, having said that I came across um, at Citrine is when my friend Denise uh, Roberts, who, who actually works on another shopping channel, she, she might know her, she bought me a big Citrine ring and I love it. It's my favourite. I just adore it. It's a big silver, a big square uh, Citrine. Emerald cut. Gorgeous. Oliver saw it in a high street shop. Tiny piece on silver. £20. That's quite a good price, actually, for a high street. Now, are we doing, are we doing these now? Now, you saw Mark's stand, didn't we? Have we still got that picture of Mark's stand? The Markery. <laughs> we saw Mark's trade stand, and Mark displays his jewellery professionally at all times. Have a look at this. There you go, there's a few busts on your stand there as well, Mark. Um, now, why is it important to raise certain pieces of jewellery? Well, up until the point that I put up that, the pasting boards with all the earrings on at the back, um, I, needed, I needed lots of height. So what I used to do, I used to have my table and I used to put various cardboard boxes filled with bubble wrap to make them nice and strong just dot them around the table and then I would drape the material over the top so you get lots oh, of height raise. differences and yeah. then on top of those boxes I would then display the busts um, and you, you be, if people walk into a craft room they want to see something wow and you know and they'll they'll home in on it if all your jewelry is just lying flat on the table with no height they, they'll, they'll walk past it they'll miss it so you need something just to lift the jewelry off of the flat surface what about when I'm photographing my jewellery? Oh, these, these are amazing. If you can photograph these outside on a nice sunny day with the sun behind them, with the jewellery on the front, they are beautiful. Beautiful. We always photograph ours, of course, yeah. on a bust, yes, raised yep. up. So not just if you've got a trade stand going, not just if you are photographing, what about, Mark, if I'm doing jewellery parties, is this That's when great. it's important to display and these, as well? These are really good because they've got earring holes at the top of the frame, so if you had yes, a matching have. pair of earrings, just that little bit extra sale, just to sell them all together. It looks better as well when it's all together because yes, people recognise right. it as a matching set, don't they? So really important for you, if you've just started jewellery making and you are thinking in the future of doing something like that, grab this deal in anticipation because we are about to offer you an excellent price tag. Under £10, for £9.95, you are getting incredible value. £10 well spent, Marky? That's fantastic, because in, in the past I've had to get mine from, a, from another supplier. And how much would you expect to pay? Um, with the, the same manufacturer I get my velvet boards from, uh, yes. I pay £8 for a velvet board and the busts are the similar sort of price for the small one. For one? Yeah. 
Bear in mind, bear in mind, it'll be it'll be velveteen covered. Wow. So that's an amazing saving. I like the acrylic because you can keep them clean. You can. Now, uh, these are reminding you of a stormtrooper. How so? What? Are they? You know I've got a thing about stormtroopers. I do know Star Wars. I know Star Wars. It's my favourite film in the world. Not an actual stormtrooper then. The pilots. Yeah, OK. I get it. I love, I love, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with stormtroopers, I fancy them. You know, you like some people accidentally fancy cartoons in a bit of a wrong way. You know, like attractive cartoons like Jessica Rabbit or something. Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. Oh yeah, it's you that fancies Gaston, isn't it? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I fancy stormtroopers. Like, I love them. It's mad, isn't it? I don't know why all of our girls are weird. I don't know what it is. I just like them. It was when Luke Skywalker comes to rescue her and she says, aren't you a little small for a stormtrooper? That whole thing, like, oh, he's rescuing her. I don't know. Maybe it was that. <laughs> I don't know what goes on in my mind now. <laughs> now, my darlings, I have got for you. Now, Mark, I'm going to rely on you heavily for this one because And I'm getting... Gosh. I've got some in box 10. Maybe that's what it is, the loose one, too. OK. Well, I didn't realise they were both together. All together. All together now. Red cord, pink, purple, black. And these are the satin cords. Now, I've got to tell you all that Mark is probably a little bit responsible for all these, along with L Lord Oxbury, is, yes, um, is very, yes. Now, why were <laughs> you so passionate that we absolutely must have satin cord here at Jewelry Maker, Mark? What well, was it? Well, I think for, for the, definitely for the macrame and kumihimo, uh, this is undoubtedly the nicest material to use. Um, Hang on, say that again. The nicest material yes. to use, undoubtedly, yes. out of everything? I think so. I think so. Really? We, we, we have wax cords, yes. which, which is, is very good, and it's, it gives more strength and more structure to a piece. OK. We've got the beading thread, as we were discussing earlier with the previous kit. Mm -hmm. But um, workshop after workshop after workshop, the ladies love satin cord. And, the, and they've all purchased after the workshops, because they just adore it. I would say that it has that feminine look about yes, it. Yeah. I'm just trying to tidy this up, look. You've got the yellow, you've got so much of it. Now you do get loose bundles as well. Now you are getting, these are all one mil by the way, and you've got 10 meters of each. Why don't these come on reels then? Is there a reason for that, Mark? Different supplier. Aha. Uh -huh. You can't get all the colours from one supplier, so we, we do various suppliers. Oh, I see. So we really had to shop around for we these. Have. Could you talk we to have. me about the quality of, oh, um, it's, it's, of satin cord? It's, does it vary, though, from... It, it does from supplier to supplier. This is the best I've ever used, without a doubt, and the colours that we're getting as well. I mean, there is, there is um, a well-known... We deal with some of their products, actually, Beadsmith. Uh, and they, yes. have, they have a range of satin cords as well. Um, they're, they're a bit more expensive than ours, and you, you have to buy them in colour ranges. So it's specifically one colour that you wanted. I believe that you, that you have to buy them in, in a three or four mix rather than one straight. Well, I mean, I might be wrong, but um, in the past, I've not been able to get single colours. What would be the expected price for satin cord? Well, until I discovered during may well until we managed to get this and before i discovered b smith I, again it, it was between 50 and 75 pence a meter okay yikes mm. now you get 10 meters of each here you've got all these lovely colors you've got the orange bronze yellow red you've also got the reels black purple one two three four of the pinks but in two different tones and you've got the pink uh, the reds there as well Shambhala style bracelets wish bracelets friendship bracelets just simple cords to hang a nice heavy pendant on mm -hmm. you have got B 
big scope for your designs. Um, can I do Kumihimo with this? You can, absolutely. The amazing Kumihimo. Lazy Daisy? Cool. I'm not sure about mm, Lazy Daisy. Can no, I Lazy French Daisy? French knitting you can. French knitting. French knitting, yes, yeah. Crochet, normal knitting. Yeah. Weaving, basket mm. weaving. Mm -hmm. Weaving. Why don't we weave? Let's weave more. Okay. That's easy. <laughs> weaving is easy. I remember that from school. I, I particularly like the basket weave. Are you ready for another fantastic saving? Now, Mark, ballpark figure, if I was shopping elsewhere, what would you as, a, as an experienced jewellery maker for the whole bundle oh, take gosh. out with you? If someone said, right, you need this, you've got to go and have it, go and buy it. How much from money would you put else. in your back pocket? From somewhere else. Yeah. From somewhere else. Err on the side of caution because you don't want to come home without okay. the cord. It's essential. You're not allowed home without the cord. Okay. Um, £40. 40 quid? Mm. Really, in all honesty, forty yeah. pounds. Yeah, for there. Yep. Crikey, is that really? Yeah. Oh, Laura, yeah. you've gone far too low on this, my darling. Are you ready? We're going to give you a. Are you serious, then, Laura? Forty quid, Mark says. Yeah. If you were shopping elsewhere. That's even, not us. E even more at that that hobby shop. What, Bobby Shaft? <laughs> no, and no, you no, could no, pay no. forty pounds. You could if you wanted to around there, or you could go to your be local bead shop, or you could go to that arts and crafts shop. The other one that's called what is it? Rhymes with strange. The you know you could go to places like that. Do you not have those where you are? Is that just me? The well, yes, thank you, Holly. 10p a metre. 10p a metre is what I'm giving this. You loads of you on the phone lines buzzing around. £7.95 pence and you're making a massive saving. We have got look, big stock of this, which is why you've got that tiny weeny 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 weeny, weeny price tag. Think about what you're creating. Maybe you're using these in, in um, conjunction with your haberdashery. Maybe you're using these together with your card making skills. Maybe you're making things like bookmarks. Oh, a woven bookmark, that'd be nice and put some gemstones in it to weigh it down. Do you know what I would like to see? You know you put on the top of like sugar bowls where you weigh them down? Oh, yeah. You could do one of those in yep. um, weave and you weigh it down with gemstones. Why haven't we got more of those? Because you have to mm. use gemstones for those yeah, to weigh them do. down. That's right. Yeah. Finishing necklaces off, making embellishments on brooches, loads of design scope, macram a belt of macrame. A macrame belt. Do you like what I did? In case I didn't know myself what a belt was, I went. <laughs> Just to tell my brain what a belt was, my hands did that. Seven ninety-five. What a wonderful price tag. Where would you? I'm going to deliver this to you, Mark. So, what would be your first initial reaction? Where would you use it? I would take the black, the pink, and the purple, and get some really nice black onyx, ten, twelve, fourteen mil faceted and do a really, really heavy corset stitch drop necklace. It'd be beautiful. The corset stitch is what you just showed us in your last demonstration, yeah, it wasn't it? It's amazing with satin, pink satin and black. That's how I, I did it on a show a few months ago and it was just the most beautiful, luxurious necklace I think I've ever made. It was stunning. Two questions for you with that, that said. Yep. Number one, how much cord do I need to create one Shambhala style bracelet, please. One and a half metres. One and a half metres. Yeah. How much have I got here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120. Okay, how much would you sell that for? Depending on gemstone, between 10 and 15 pounds. So if we, if we err on the side of caution and say so 10, 10 pounds, pounds, how many bracelets would you get out of 120? 60, I think we worked out. 60? No, um, no, 45. 80, they're saying. Yeah, 45. 45 bracelets. A metre and a half, yeah. So, how much, what, how much money would that be then? 450 450, pounds. of course. Yeah, I just had the O. 450 pounds, and that was being conservative. He mm. sometimes sells them for 15 pounds. My, when we went on holiday, Mark, I've told everyone this story, I know, 70 euros my little son spent on Shambhala style bracelets. One had a moustache on it, so he had to pay this amount of money. Honestly, 
I brought my, my kids are going crazy for these Shambhala braces. And I said to Max, listen, Max, this is terrible. I could get you these at work. I know the man himself for Shambhala style bracelets. But kids, when you give them holiday money and they've got their own free reign, they want to buy them bracelets. You know, he just bought bracelets and a lollipop. 7.95, loads of you there now. I'm going to tell you that you have got very shortly our beryl have a look at this strand oh my gosh these are heavenly the beryl all stars what time we're we gonna at Kelly, laura <laughs> hmm in the 12 o'clock uh what's that Couture Theons. What is 12? I don't even know what it is. Deuce. Deuce on. Deuce on. I've also got for you Mark Strand of the Day. The sparkly clear quartz. That's how we came up. That's how we got dozen from Deuce. It's a French word. Oh, that's how I rem remember it then. Thank you. got chain oh I love this chain I love that sound it makes <laughs> me too and you know what it's Italian Mark oh, is and it? you know we were talking about Italian things yesterday weren't we oh, you were trying to think of a, a non attractive Italian weren't yeah you? did you think of one no 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 such thing you did think of one Sylvester Stallone isn't non attractive he's pretty hot what do you mean what really? he is in Rocky, the first Rocky. Oh, the first one. The first one, not now, when he was younger. No, I like him, I liked his lips. No? <laughs> Why are you concerned? Italian men are gorgeous. Got not, nice hair. It's just that look, mm. isn't it? Especially when they've got blue eyes and they're dark. Did you find an unattractive Italian? No, I'm, just, I'm just thinking of my girlfriend's granddad, as you, as you described <laughs> it. Your girlfriend's granddad wasn't always no, a granddad, though. No, he was really beautiful when he was... He was beautiful. Yeah, Can we have a little was, picture of him? Yeah, I'll take one. Now, the satin cord, we still have stock of you. Are lo lots of you buzzing around for that one. Now we're going to give to you... Doopie doobie doo. Andalusite is a gemstone that we don't see often. You can get colour change andalusite, can't you? Have a look at this. Look at the tones. Now, I'd say that this is going to be another essential autumnal colour. These are like demerara sugar, aren't they? I want to crumble this on the top of my creme brulee. Don't you like creme brulee, Mark? I'm not good with egg desserts. Egg custard and stuff like that. What's I just, wrong with you, Mark? No. You're more of a banoffee pie man, are you? No, that's probably even worse. I'm not. I'm not good with. Puddings are wasted on you. <laughs> eaten are, mess. Are, At least give me that. Eaten mess. If Nobody can resist an eaten mess. Only if it's with raspberries, because I don't like strawberries. So. I know. I know. I know. Listen, whoever's been making your puddings has been doing them wrong. There is a place near me and it's called Just Desserts and it only sells desserts if you go out to dinner. Everything is desserts. You can have three course of desserts. As you can imagine, the kids love it. Ben's face. Just Desserts. They've got a website. Go check it out. You need to go there. You, you need to remind me after the show what that Just is. Just Puddings. Just Puddings, it's called Just Desserts. You can't Just get anything else. Oh, Believe me, this place is heaving. All of, the, all of the kids in secondary school go out there like when there's big events. I know you're not a pudding man. And I'm a savoury girl too, but someone shows me a banoffee pie and I'm there. Mm. Eating mess. Well, I think the worst thing in the world is bread and butter pudding. Why put bread, which is a savoury, with a pudding? I just don't. And then drizzle milky now, egg all over it. You like bread and butter. Now, oh. I've got to say that is one of my. I, I will eat it. A good homemade bread and butter. Yeah, okay. No, I, I do love desserts. Mm. No? Look at his little face. <laughs> He's disgusted at the thought of desserts. 
Now, I'm going to take you out, right? <laughs> oh, we're going to go night clubbing, <laughs> and then we're going to go to just desserts and stuff our faces. And you are going to enjoy it. In that it. order. It's like when the kids don't want to go sledging. I'm like, yes, you do. It's fun. Let's go to the top <laughs> of the hill. Who's having fun? You're having fun, aren't you? We're all having fun. <laughs> anyway, have a look. Anyway, the creme <sighs> brulee that you get from this strand, the Demerara sugar. I'll change him. Can't teach an old dog. You can. That's wrong. I'm. I'm always use. I'm always learning new tricks, Mark. You can. Let's have a look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Would you say this is going to be a, an autumn essential, Mark? Oh, I think so. And it's one of those stones that that nobody would have heard of. That would be really interesting. And they, they, they would just think it's smoky quartz, wouldn't they? First look. I'm thinking putting a little um, antique bronze bead. Uh, yes. or, no, 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 not antique uh, bronze. No, rose gold. Mm. A little ball. Yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful and, and essential, I'd say, for, for, for autumn. And actually, Andalusite discovered in Andalusia in Spain, hence its name. And I've got some rubies, I say. Now, these look great together. Now, Mark would have missed our new Ruby Zoysite rounds that we've had in. Did you see them? No. You've never seen a colour like it in your life. Was it while I was away? Yeah. Now, look. This is why we can't leave jewellery making. Aren't these good? Now, why, do, why are you open mouth? They massive. are, aren't they? Can I just show you how big Gosh. these are? This is over the head straight away. What a lovely colour as well. And you could easily just wear that as a necklace just like this, couldn't you? What a lovely strand. And actually, you look at these strands on my wrist against my arm and you think, yeah, yeah, they're lovely. When you see them as they should be, around the neckline perhaps, you know, they're great, they come to life. Aren't these wonderful together? They're reminding me of a garland, a kind of um, Maid Marian style garland, Mark. What do you think? Oh, yes, that would work. What would you do with these? I would thread on on probably onto one mil wire gold or rose gold as you were saying and um, Laura Binding done this, this, this amazing bracelet where you have just a length and then you wrap wire up to one end and then back again and just three or four wire wraps I think that yeah. just looks stunning the bracelet one that she does that's Beautiful. like a, that's, it's really it's, it's like a bangle almost yes, it's lovely yes, yeah yes, I know yes. exactly what you mean these are a gorgeous Gorgeous combination. Your green aventurine uh, are eight by four to twenty-three by seven. Andalusite small nuggets from three by one to seven by two. They're on a seventy-five centimetre strand. And then you've got those ruby zoysite long chips, twelve by four to twenty-two by eight. All three for just twelve ninety-five, just over four pounds per strand. Four pounds thirty per strand. In three six nine. No, four pounds three four six eight. Four pounds twenty-five twenty something per strand. 51 is it? Why can't I? Why do I lack the ability? 31. I've just got no mathematical ability at, there at all. 12.95. Incredibly, incredibly beautiful. You got a treat there now. I love rose gold. And I'm just going to show you this Andalusite. Remember our early bird? Our early bird's gone. And so are these the same times two? Yes, they are. I just want to show you the Andalusite. Have a look at this. Wow. That's it does go really well with. Yeah, it's beautiful. Don't you think? Rose gold, Mark, are you a fan? Massive fan, I adore it. And you're seeing more and more and more of it on the high street at the moment as well. Well, it's, the, it's probably yeah. the hottest of all the precious metals. Do your customers enjoy it? Yes, yes. That's actually more popular than gold colour. I can see why, yeah. I can. Yes. I actually, I've got to say I prefer it. It's my favourite too. Now, we're going to give you a deal that means, Laura, is this right? The deal we're about to give 
You're buying one and you're getting one half price. You're buying one and you're getting one for, 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 for free? For free? For free, you're buying one, you're getting one for free. If you run out of findings, again, talk to me about what happens when you find out, of, when you run out of findings, Well, Mark. I, I never run out of findings, ever. You never allow yourself to run out of findings? Ne never, ever. So when you see deals like this, when I'm at home, I'm, I'm snapping them up. It's a no-brainer, a no you have to get them because they're on a deal and you're getting, yeah. a, you're getting a good deal, therefore allowing yourself as a jury maker that sells on and I know not everybody does, allowing yourself to make a better profit then, Mark? No, it'd be silly not to, wouldn't it? I'm going to give you the most insane price tag. These are going to be buy one, get one free. This does not happen very often at all. You need to act fast. You've got two lots, so two meters of chain. You've got four toggle clasps. Look how long this chain is. Hang on, my chains, it used to be not um, attached. This is attached. I'll show you how long it is. I love rose gold. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just drape myself in, in rose gold. Now, I'm gonna give you a price tag because loads of you are on the phones. Look how long this is, a meter, all for just six pounds and 95 pence. You are buying one, you're getting the other for free. Now, there are lots of you on the phone lines for this. It's very, very, very popular. You're getting your eye pins, you're getting your head pins. I'm gonna show you the heart toggle clasp because it looks so classy, I love it. Now I'm going to show you the little squidgers. I call them squidgers, they're crimp bead covers. And now and I'm going to show you why I find these extremely important because I'm a bit of a nana. Hang on, here you go. Now Oliver, because you're about to become a dad, you're going to start using words like you banana. Instead of bad words, you have to replace them. You scallywag. <laughs> Now, I'm going to just show you my squidgers. Can I have some flat nosed, please, darling? <laughs> See, I love the new findings Thanks, packs that we have, but what I really miss that we don't have in them are the chandelier findings. The shepherd's hooks. The, the chandelier drops. The chandelier drops, yes, yeah, you we do don't have get them those. In the, new kit, in the new finding packs. No, that's what he's saying, Laura. He says yeah. he loves the new findings pack, but he yeah. misses the fact that you don't get the chandeliers in the new findings pack, right. but you do with the traditional ones. Yeah. Well, you're not just going to get two, you're going to get four. Now, let's say I've done a stretchy bracelet in my um, moo kite that I've got, and I'm annoyed because there is a because now there's a gap. I don't want to. I don't want to be fussed with undoing the whole thing. I've just made it for crikey O'Reilly's sake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just. And I know these are crimp bead covers, and it's a bit sneaky. But actually, I'm not. I'm not going to be undoing that for anyone. I'm just going to pop in my little squidger. Now there aren't that many gaps on here, so I'm going to just make one. And I'm just going to squidge it in. Wait there. Let me just hang on. Go up here a bit. This is why I love these. Just squidge it in. Squidge. Now, now I don't have that gap anymore. And I've got a gorgeous bit of rose gold. You see? Perfect. How easy. Squidge, done. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. In rose gold with that mukai is perfect. Think about if you've got the cloudy quartz. We were all saying rose gold would look stunning with that, weren't, weren't we? I'm going to put one on there too. Let's hope no one counts all this afterwards. Now these are all e-coated, so they are um, that will protect your customers if they're hypo because they're hypoallergenic. Just squidging them on. Look if you put, look how what a difference that makes. Now I've just put one. Now if you had them both sides, you can just see what a difference it makes adding that. Now you've got the crimp beads in there as well. Essential. I would um, be inclined, because they are rose gold, to in fact use these as an embellishment rather than a function. It's up to you. But if you're going to hide them anyway with the crimp bead covers, I'd just use your, uh, any, you know, any crimp beads that are spare. 
uh, if you're hiding them with the, with the squidgers. You've also got your rose gold balls in there, your jump rings in there, everything you need to create gorgeous jewellery. Now, don't forget to multi-buy on this deal. Mark, you buy from us regularly. It's all very well me stood here telling everybody, multi-buy, multi-buy, multi-buy. Really, is this something that you would do? At home, do we see deals that are buy one, get one free for findings often? No, not very often. And as, as you said, I would use my £30 budget on this so I, I, I could get how many seven I could get eight packs for my 30 pound that would be fantastic be brilliant and it's, it's really nice to, to as, I, as I keep saying it's nice to have the new packs that we've got but I really miss the chandeliers and it's one of my top sellers my chandelier big big you know cascading earrings that you like I mean you're a huge fan of them aren't you the, you the, know the shoulder, I'm, I'm a shoulder so, dust yeah, so um, to have those it's brilliant I do like yeah. an earring that dangles they might, well that's why I took these I've got, you know, I just think if you've got long hair, unless you're putting it up, you've got to wear a big, big dangly earring. I do, I do, I love them. I still meet lots of people who don't have pierced ears. M Mia, my daughter hasn't got pierced ears. She hasn't? No, no. I don't, I didn't like it on a little, I didn't think I wanted to do that to her because a lot no. of kids have them done. Yes, yes. I couldn't bear the idea of just um, hurting her little ears just because I thought it looked nice. My dad was very strict with my sister and um, she wasn't allowed to wear makeup or do anything drastic with her hair or get her ears pierced till she was 18. And then she went and wild. I went, no, I did. I went and had mine pierced at 14, which caused massive, massive angst in the family, as you can imagine. So he had to relent and Angela had hers done, but, um, but I know. <laughs> That's oh, another buddy. story. That's another story. I like the sound of your rebellious sister. You're like Horrid Henry and Perfect Peter. Mm, That's what you're like. Completely. Which again, Oliver, you will become very familiar with. <laughs> now, I was Horrid Henry. I'm with Angela. Really? Yeah, I was so naughty. Now. You know how we've been giving you these lovely traditional findings? I'm going to put these in here, Kaz. They're in number 16. Um, traditional findings, beautiful, really beautiful. Um, but you know what? A lot of you have been asking. Back in the old days, right, right back, just when I first started here, probably about a year and a half ago at Jewelry Maker, we, we only ever gave you precious metal findings. And then we took that away so that we could bring the cost down of the kits for you. Because as you know, oh, look. I've accidentally taken two metres of chain. Acc it were accidental. Uh, now, um, what, what we, we, we gave you those because obviously sterling silver is expensive. So to make, the, to make the kits more affordable for you, we gave you findings that were copper or um, copper with, with gold or, or what have you. Now, I'm going to give you a kit that has something that I haven't seen for a very long time. Not just silver findings, but nine carat gold on sterling silver findings with that heart chain. Now that heart chain is absolutely beautiful. Real gold, real silver. A single bracelet of that, just that heart chain, will set you back, I reckon, about 45 quid. Depends where you live, obviously, but... Now... Could be more. I mean, if you live in the middle of London, you're look, looking at more, aren't you? I have got Australian opal in this kit with mind-blowing opalescence. Oh, gosh. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this opalescence. <gasps> This is a high-end kit, mind you. Look at that green. Can you see what I see? Can you see that green? Oh my gosh, Mark, I bet you celebrated when you got this it's kit. What a lovely one to take on holiday with you to create jewellery with. <gasps> my word. Look at that. Genuine, genuine opal. Australian opal. Do you know that most of the world's opal that is considered the finest opal is Australian opal? <laughs> Have a look at 
this incredible opportunity. Just had to be precious metal findings. Opal is famous the world over. Some say it brings you luck, so drape me in it. Opal is a gemstone that I, I went to the Burlington Arcade um, a couple of months ago. I went to Bond Street uh, to all the jewelers in there. I was having a little saunter. Do you know the two gemstones that um, were mainly displayed? Opal and aquamarine along with the traditional diamond engagement rings it was all about opal and aquamarine opal is to most of us expensive you're also getting two strands of tiger's eye that is of exceptional quality in these coins these buttons imagine actually creating buttons out of these Oh, I love them. And then I'm going to give to you that wonderful cream shell. Really caramel textures there. You're also going to get wax cord. Whether you use that with the gemstones or separately, you've got the wax cord in there. So that's in there as well as an addition. You've got all your beading thread materials so you get 10 meters of that. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to use this for a separate project. Actually, I might change my mind because I've just seen what Mark's done. This is why he's here. I've got to show you the heart chain. You are going to get this kit for under 30 pounds. Despite the fact you've got a double strand of Australian opal. You're already on the phone lines. This kit will be under 30 pounds. And not even by a whisker. Without further ado, let's give you your price tag for just £21.95. pence. You are getting yourself an incredible, incredible deal. Look at the hearts on the heart chain. Delicate, pretty, got to have them. Let's get over to that Marky Barky and have a look. I've got to bring this opal with me. I'm bringing it. The opal essence is striking. And a strand like opal, October's birth gemstone, one of the October's birth gemstones. It's a gemstone, isn't it, that we dream about using as a jewelry maker. It's a gemstone we dream about owning. Let's check out Mark's jewelry because it's gorgeous. Have a look. I love it. The findings are 14 95 on their own, Laura's just telling me. So. The whole kit you're getting for mm. seven pounds. Right. Oh. I want to just give you a moment to just absorb the luxury of this incredible piece of jewellery. And this, Mark, is expensive looking. Mm. Look at that opalescence. Well, normally when I get a, um, a strand of chips like this, I do the, th the plaited wrap. And I thought, no, I want, to, I want, the, I want everyone to see what there is in that strand. So I left them all separate and did that sort of using the, the, the head pins and the eye pins. That shoulder detail is something I adore. Mm. It's really decadent looking now. Um, I just want to explain to you that because of our studio lights, now Mark and I are seeing mm. striking yes. opalescence. Now we are surrounded by studio lights. Normal life uh, is, mm. is just one light source. Yeah, yeah. we wait till you get it outside. The sun yeah. or you know your light. Now, I love the rosary link you've done. How happy were you when you opened this kit and you saw this wonderful, wonderful opal? Beautiful. Oh, so that's a bit of a treat. I've never had it in a kit before. So, um, no, it was, it was lovely. And that shell, it, the little shell rounds are just beautiful. Aren't they? And, and you've included them here. Yes, and that allows yeah. the jewellery to sit beautifully on mm. the neckline as well as adding obviously a design embellishment mm. now uh, you've done what I think I would do I didn't want to put the wax cord with this no. I wanted no. just to display it two uh, different looks isn't it two different yes. looks entirely yeah. Yeah. and actually this is oh mark this is gorgeous your lazy strand is the beading wire mm. I'm gonna take and go quickly do a demo on that yes please I do look. talk yes. about now it's the invisible stitch is that what you were you calling it the floating stitch mm. so it appears that the gemstones are in fact just floating that's fabulous and you know what the quality of the that's tiger's fantastic. eye look at those buttons they're beautiful mm. real like another double take then you've got these beautiful earrings is this stretchy 
They're expensive looking with the tiger's eye. The mm. gold and the tiger's eye together. Very Cartier, darlings. Well, stretchy they're, price. They're, they're Is it allowed to weave stretchy? No, they're, they're individual little tiny stretches comprised and of six beads. And did you twist them together? Um, no, they're individual. And I've just I've just threaded them through. What do you mean? Do do do. So what, what I've done is what I've stretched them. So, so you've got little stre little stretches. Oh, I see. And all I've done is just pulled them so it oh, makes them yes. look a bit different. That can, you can we show everybody yeah. at home now? Because I thought you'd done something no, no, no. insanely complicated. So if you just push them into each other. They so all look, slip. that's yeah. their links. Can you see? And what Mark did was just... Oh, I like that idea. Now look at this. I love, what's this, is this herringbone -y? This is what we did on the first kit. Look at this. It looks so different with mm. the wax cord. This is amazing, isn't it? So that's, that's the corset again. So we were talking earlier about the pink and the black satin cords on the neckline piece with some onyx or something, or with a tiger's eye, it'd just be amazing. Isn't that fab? Wow, standing proud. You can mm. imagine that as a tiara. Could yeah, could. That would be a lovely way to make your gemstone stand up on a tiara. So, Mark, you're going to give us a demo. What are you going to do, this my is, darling? This is so, so if anyone has little buttons like this, or if they have any of the flat pillows and they're wondering what they can do with them mm -hmm. to incorporate them in macrame pieces, this is the perfect stitch to use. So, again, there's quite large holes in the bead, so I'm using two lazy strands. Okay. One of which is really important, you'll see in a minute. So, all I'm going to do is just do a small little section of square knot at the top just to get the, the bracelet started. Because obviously, you don't want to have many beads under the wrist, because A, you won't see them, and B, you don't want to, to keep knocking the beads on the yeah. surface. So always make sure you do about an inch before you start adding the beads on. So we'll, we'll take, given that this is an inch. And with this particular technique, you don't thread the beads on first. You do them one at a time. So as you can see, we've got two lazy strands, okay? So the one that's on the right-hand side, I don't know if you can see that on the board and the overhead there, the one that's on the right hand side, you flip out of the way. You just want it out of the you way. You just want it out of the way. And you pop it back onto your board. And we do a bit more macrame, but just now using one lazy strand instead of two. Pop that out of the way. So we carry on doing a piece of macrame. Now I worked it out that I needed eight half square stitches mm -hmm. is the length of the bead from one side across to the other. So we'll just pop those in. So one, two. This technique may feature in the Gents DVD as well, using black leather and some black onyx or hematite, anything like that. But if you've got any of the pillow shapes, you know, the flats. Yeah. So that's four. Five. I was so anxious on holiday about this cat that um, unfortunately my nails did rather suffer. Oh bless you, <laughs> these animals hence, do. Hence, hence why I'm struggling a bit with getting the thread out done. Oh you're not, I didn't notice you were struggling. Uh, like, yeah, really you could, have, you could have smoothed over that, I, I didn't know. Okay. Are, the you viewers, the viewers are you still see. stressed and worried? Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm he'll sure be, be all fine. right now, he's, got, he's, over, this yeah. is the, he's yeah. over the worst time. So You're going to let him out again? Yes. Yeah. We, we did. We let him out yesterday for an hour, but he does, I don't think he wants to go out. I think he's still a bit, bit, oh, a bit scared. Him. So we've done our eight half stitches or full square stitches. We take the thread that we threw away at the beginning and we pop on one of our beads. So that now rests on the top. We put both threads back down again. Oh, that's how you do like it. Like so. So that's now sitting so nice on the top. the top. And then all you do then is you carry on macrame and over both of the strands instead of the one. And then you just repeat it. So I've done a couple of square knots in between. And then you lift one of the lazy cords, put it to one side, a bit more macrame on one lazy, and then reintroduce it on the second bead. And you just continue that. You can do sort of chokers or, or bracelets, anything like that. It's fabulous belts. Mm, absolutely. It's a really nice technique. If you're not sure what you can do with, you know, with the flat beads. 
have a look here is what we're talking about uh, now of course uh, graphics on screen right now QTGC 12 at the bottom of your screen is for your rose gold findings it was a buy one get one free deal for just 6.95 now grab this kit uh, and add that to your order one PMP is all you're gonna pay you don't have to pay any extra on that PMP 21 pounds and 95 pence you're still paying under 30 pounds you get the findings as well it's a good deal it's called keep the peace TXG C46 is your item code. The yellow tiger's eye nuggets are eight by six. The puffy coins are 14 mil. You've got the chips there as well. You've got the 10 meters of uh, macrame coins. Your honey shell, eight mil. 10 meters of your wax cord that are one mil. 10 meters of that. Don't forget you've got all of your beading materials too. TXG C46 is your item code now okay I'm just being told that BT are having problems with phone lines so there's delays oh. on phones so if you're getting engaged tones please keep ringing ringing back we've just had a phone call in trying to sort it out ASAP you can always uh, shop online and don't forget you are calling a free phone number so you won't be charged when you ring from your landline now it's time to look at your gorgeous designs again on the Wall of Fame. Definitely a floral inspiration. Now, these are gorgeous, and i got to say, I always say it to you, I love a post and butterfly back. Mm -hmm. They're my favourites. They look like poppies, these. Have a look. Number 68, I think these are just beautiful. And um, these are from Bernadette Hunter in Glasgow, who says, Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. I'm sending this photo of my solar earrings. I love solar quartz. Made uh, for the Wall of Fame. My bank account is drying up because I can't stop ordering. I know it's the luck of the draw, but when is it coming to Scotland? Uh, well, we're fingers crossed for you. Ben, you did the draw last Wednesday, didn't you? It'll be tomorrow. And it's not Ben tomorrow. Who will it be? I'll get Amelia to do it for you. Oh, what a gorgeous wire wrapped yeah, heart you've got there. Beautiful. Uh, the next one I have is number 66. And this is from Jill in Briley Hill. And Jill says, good morning, everyone. Please find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's inspired by the Motifs DVD and is made from different sizes of Labradorite, my favourite gemstone, mm, and one I? millimetre and 0.6 millimetre silver plated wire, all from Jewelry Maker. Love to everyone. And that's Jill in Briley Hill. Beautiful. I really like these hand-carved flower beads. Isn't this gorgeous? I've not seen these ones. Number 69 is from Kate in Hasselmere. And she says, hi all at JM. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame, which I made using an abalone power shell pendant given to me by a friend. I then made it even more beautiful by adding JM shell beads and sterling silver findings. Hope you like it, I love it. All the best to Carolyn Hubby. I'm sure she only has one hubby, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did I say? Husbands yesterday and I was the like... The thing that really did make me laugh yesterday and, and people have commented on Facebook about it is you saying that you had Bilbo Baggins feet. Did they comment on that? Mm. I haven't looked yes. at the comments. Where? <laughs> on Facebook? Yeah. On the, the, our Facebook yeah, page? Yeah, but yeah. They, they adore you and you It was just how quick you just said it and it, was, <laughs> it, made, a, it made the audience laugh. <laughs> Sometimes I say things Only and you. I think, oh, yes. why did I say that? Okay, the next one I've got is number 67, which is just the most amazing bit of Art Nouveau art deco. It's just beautiful. Have, oh, yeah, the wiggly isn't one. It? I saw that oh, earlier. I thought it was that gorgeous. that just the most beautiful thing I've ever oh, seen? Oh, it is Art Nouveau. Yeah, and um, this is from Jane in Hans and Jane mm. says dear all at jewelry maker please find my entry for this week's wall of fame it's my second attempt at making a necklace so still very much a novice second attempt love second the shows attempt. I know, I know. love the shows and I'm learning such a lot from the talented guest designers take care and that's Jane can we just get in on that little scroll at the bottom there I just think that is beautiful well done gorgeous. I love that absolutely gorgeous now this wow. <laughs> is heavenly look at the twister tool this is why I just love this I love it look at that number 70 
Isn't this beautiful? How did they get that on the end? Is that a little ball of resin, do you think? Um, jewel enamel. Look at all of these. Mm. What about the leafing? Look at the rose. Gemma Crow inspired, isn't it? And this is from Heather Adair. I've done, I've done a few Wall of Fames from Heather. And she says, hi everyone at JM, here is my latest creation I made using fresh water pearls and bronze wire from JM. I think it's a nice, simple design that will look beautiful with an elegant dress. Hope everyone likes it. You know what, Laura? Kind of thing you would wear in your hair in your imaginary wedding. <laughs> isn't it? It's gorgeous, <laughs> not listening to me. We could say anything now and get away with it. What should we say? <laughs> Laura's got four ears. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Now, coming up <laughs> after the break, she just doesn't notice, we have got Mark's strand of the day. Clear quartz that just gives you bling, 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 bling. Laura's going diamonds. They do look like well, diamonds, don't they? Strictly Saturday inspired. They're very strictly. Mm -hmm. Oh, strictly. Tomorrow, uh, Ben, I'd like you to come dressed in a ball gown. I don't know why I feel like you're my little Barbie doll. Now we are going to be right back with this gorgeous strand after this. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Join clay expert Natalia Coleman and enter the world of metal clay. This introductory DVD will guide you through the process of using copper and bronze clay and is packed full of designs, hints, tips and demonstrations. Learn how to create earrings and pendants using textured stamps and learn how to fire your designs. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 6444 655. join guest designer Laura Binding on our intermediate wire work course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wire work skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the wire work tutorial DVD edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. It's time for you to get that strand. The strand of the day. Beautiful, very strictly come dancing. Dazzle and glitz strand. We don't have anything else like this strand here at Jewelry Maker. Now's your time to get something absolutely beautiful that is going to add that diamond-like sparkle to your designs. Whether you're creating Shambhala, whether like Mark, you just want loads and loads of earrings out to these tassels. The way the light enters these gemstones and gives a glow that is unbelievable. The way the facets add to that glitz is just so glamorous. You're going to really enjoy these beautiful gems. 
Can you see how they take on the colours that surround them? Can you see how they just bounce those colours around? You see my yellow dress in them? Now, Mark, you're in love with these. Tell me why. Well, I, just, I just love the way they look. I mean, they're going to catch attention from the other side of the room, aren't they? Yes. I think, you know, you're talking about Strictly. Mm. So if we were talking ball gowns, if we were talking going out, cocktail dresses, we want that fancy piece. But I also think, Mark, just if you bought those rose gold findings, just the chain, and I'd do this as a delicate necklace, and I would run a head pin through there, and I would have just the chain, that's a pendant on its just own. Bead. Mm. And I wouldn't fancify it at all. I'm just going to do a loop and leave it to shine on its own because it will. It really will. You've got a performance gemstone here. You've got a real dazzling gemstone here. And it does it with subtlety. And it does it without a song and a dance. And it does it without offending. Because whatever you put next to this gemstone, it will go with. These will look wonderful in a tiara. These will look stunning in a ring. These are gorgeous in soutache. These are perfect for tassel styles. Earrings, absolutely. Shambhala style, totally. A must have strand. A must have strand a feature strand, an elegant strand. You've got to be on the phone lines quickly. I anticipate, Laura, that these are going to sell out within four minutes. How long do you think? Laura thinks two and a half. How long do you think it's going to take for this strand to sell out, Marky? 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Oliver? Oliver? A minute. Now, Oliver, you're cheeky, you know the price. I don't, because Laura and I don't talk prices in the mornings because we get in arguments. Now, and I can't argue in the morning. Give me a good old argument at night time, but not in the morning. Now, Mark, you're shopping from home. What's your budget here with this strand? What are you going to pay? Um, 14.95. 14.95. OK, well, that's mm. probably not, near, not too far from the price we're going to go, right? But it's not exactly fourteen ninety five. Close. Close. Not eighteen ninety five, no. Twelve ninety five. So we are definitely shopping with a smile here today. Twelve ninety five, incredible. And just draped around the wrist. Think about running your silver wire through these. <coughs> Excuse me. Think about putting gold through these, rosary linking these, allowing them to have their own centre stage. You could wire wrap these, but I, I just want you to see the gleams and the facets. Very busy on the phone lines, there's a one and a half minute queue. Shop online as well, it's jewelrymaker.com. AJG P. 44, 12 pounds and 95 pence. With a 30 day money back guarantee, get them in your life. Approaching half of the stock has now been allocated. Is it more than that? She's, a, she, oh, she, she can't say exactly because the phone lines are quite bonkers. There are, half of the stock's gone, 150 remain. If you're experiencing an engaged tone, please keep trying, trying, trying. We are encouraging you to shop online. We're very, very busy. 12.95. Right now, the queues are about two minutes long. Well done. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. The strand of the day for Mark. Now I'm going to give to you. Which box shall I go to? Cass has got it. Oh, that's not all going to fit in him. BFG, the big friendly giant. Oh, yes. Oh, I need this. Oh, Mark, this would have been the perfect birthday gift for you when you started wire working. This is a wonderful bundle. So, Mark, I'm going to talk to you about why, um, why each individual element is important, actually. Now, Mark, you, it's important to tell everybody at home that you haven't been wire working right from the start of your jewellery making career, have you? 
No, I st after a year of constant badgering by presenters. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> um, I started at Christmas. So um, yeah, two thirds of a year through now. Right, I'm going to find you another a new skill. At, uh, I'm going to think really, really hard about this. Well, I should have started Viking weave in April and I haven't, so I'm, I'm a bit behind with my new techniques. Well, you work to your schedule. I'm to, at Christmas, I'm going to give you something and you have to try a new thing with it. That yeah. okay. is what's going to happen now. Okay. Just, I'm warning you now because you don't really like surprises. Mm. In fact, you can't deal with surprises, no. can you? No. It's a good job you don't live in my house because I, every day there's a, about 20 surprises and everything is done spontaneously because I have lack the ability to actually oh, organise anything. I can't do spontaneity. Can't you? No, no, no. First thing I do but in the morning. But it's so much fun, Mark. First thing I do in the morning with my cup of tea is make a job list with little boxes and I tick them during the every day. Every day, a list every day. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I only do lists day, when forced. Uh, if at the end of the day, if there's a job that isn't on the list, I add it at the bottom and tick it off. We do, like, Lee makes me do lists. Mm. I'm like, oh, do I have to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but he does that list. And I'm like, no one does this. They yeah. do, though, yeah? Yeah. I couldn't, live, I couldn't live without lists. I couldn't live without scattiness. Mm. And the worst thing in the world is carrying something over from the, the previous day that you haven't managed to do. That's just. That's, I carry things over for weeks, that's not just for the next for day. Now, OK, with that in mind, I'm going to challenge you for something else. But let's talk about how, as a jewellery maker, your beadboard is essential. It is, isn't it? Well, as you can see, I mean, we, the guest designers use them on the show. I don't want to work without a beadboard if no. I'm using well, gemstones. I've got four on the go at home. You can use different, yes. you can get a project on the go and you can leave it there and then you can come back to it later. Absolutely. Well, we get, we get three kits sent every week and, um, and I can't do a kit and then move on to the next. I, I just lay them all out individually on their boards and I'll do a bit of the first kit and then you get inspired to do the second kit and then the third. So you have to have at least three or four on the go at one time. That's, it's actually good advice, isn't it? And also you've got the inching on there, so you got know, you know, that, the same with the bracelet board, the inching for bracelets, so you mm. know, and um, you've got, so you've got that too. Nice and velvety. And, and if you're anything like me, as scatty as a, as, as a, as a box of marbles. Now you've got to think about, you know, the fact that everything is kept uniform. You can keep your gemstones inside the compartments and you've got there the measuring. Now you also get your gizmo. Mark, do you use your gizmo? I do, more than anything. I love we never gizmo. It's so easy no. to achieve that neat coil, isn't well, it? Especially now, I'm, I'm learning how to do the, the goddess bracelets using, using jump rings. I mean, this is invaluable for making jump rings for those sort of designs in chail mail and all sorts. The gizmo is so simple that if you can do this action. Do, 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 do. Ooh, coil. Brilliant. Now you jig. I'm a big fan of the jig. Have you jigged yet? I haven't. My mum Have loves jiggy? hers. My mum has. She loves hers. Yeah. Now, if your mum's getting jiggy, you need to be getting jiggy. Okay. <laughs> you need to be getting jiggy because, Mark, actually, you can recreate the exact same finding over and over okay. again without yes. relying on. I mean, like you know, I'm too scatty to remember what I did five minutes ago, and I'd be like, oh no, I've forgotten. You don't need to worry about that. Your jig is in here as well. You got the practice wire, perfect if you want, if you need perfection, perfect if, like me, you're just not brilliant at freehand. You're also getting, come on, you're also getting your toolkit. Your toolkit is essential. Always great to have more than one toolkit, uh, whether you're replenishing or whether, do you know what, Mark? If you go into that big craft store, or any craft store, could be any craft store, how much is one tool? Because I've seen them for about 8 95 mm -hmm. a That's tool right. at yeah. the minimum price tag. Mm -hmm. no, Do you agree? Right. I agree, yeah, absolutely. You get everything. You've got your little beady box, your reamer, which is for making holes smaller and larger, and also for, um, you can use it for things like, oh, you've gone too tight with your um, beading wire, so you can just pull it out a little bit. You've got your scoop for gemstones, your tweezers, not just for eyebrows, but also other things. Snips, you've got your nips, your round nose pliers, and your flat nose pliers, all in a case which, at some 
beaderies or craft stores, some, not going to name any, you have to pay just for the case. I've got so much for you. I've also got... How many of these have you got in your beadery? Oh, you always ask this. Yeah, well, we got a picture mark. I want to do look through the keyhole, I told you, didn't I? And then who took my idea? That lemon chap, that Keith Lemon is now doing it. I was like, that was my idea, Lemon. Now, let's do look through the keyhole about jewellery designers. Have I a have, look. I have 93. 93? You've counted 93 bead boxes? Yeah. Why, why, Mark Smith, can't you live without bead boxes? <laughs> well, for somebody who organises like I do, they're invaluable. Each gemstone has its own, at least, I mean, my amethyst, I'm up to my fifth box now. Crikey, I'm, I'm Mark. amethyst, and I've got ametrine, and then I've got my two boxes of citrine. Amazonite, I'm on three. Hematite, I'm on three. So one is just, it's just not enough, is it? And you need to have them stored. See, lots, lots of viewers... I, Does your I, partner know how many you've got, or do you do the no, thing that I no, did? No, 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 oh, no, no, I got that last Christmas. It's just been in there with the label, and I haven't worn it yet. Yeah, exactly. Do you do that? Yeah. We are naughty, <laughs> aren't we? Oh, that, no, I haven't bought anything today. Hide the receipts, because I've got the date on them. <laughs> now, you've got all of these. Now, they're graded plastic, which, if you're into polymer clay, is very, very important, because polymer clay, if you're not using, a graded plastic will eat away into any pla just regular plastic. So these are jewellery maker specific. They've got the compartment in there. And you know what, Mark? You are a mobile guy. You go out there, you are... Um, creating on your stand and you know when you turn up at these places do you always make sure you look really professional by turning up with with your with everything ready to go and when when you've got it all boxed like this just like as I was you saying I used to be a makeup artist and I used to take all my makeup kit with me I used to do bridal makeup and mm. um, if you just turned up with it in a bag who wants you to do their makeup mm. who would want yes. you to make their jewelry if you just turned it up with it in a, it just loose everywhere looks better it's tidier it's neater and it does the job for you you know Mark is a naturally tidy guy so he would think ahead and have all of these you know I'm not I need these kinds of things to help me to to allow me to have that structure it's not just about this you've got the toolkit the two boards bracelet and necklace get jiggy with the jig you've got the jig and you've got the gizmo they sound like foreign words nothing in comparison to a wigs y cone or a wags y cone is it we'll talk about that later have you got your wags y cone no do you know what it is mm -hmm. are you ready <laughs> all of this now what what, oh, what do you reckon mark what do you reckon all of it oh. tot it up in your head okay. doop, doop, doop. 66, yeah, 60 something, I would, 62, 63, 62.95 then? Something like that, yeah, I think. Right, Mark's price is 62.95 worth of value. My price is probably about the same. I reckon 64.95. Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Might be a bit Oliver, less. What do you pay for all this, darling? I'll go about 59. Yes. 59, says Oliver. All right, I'll take your 59 and I'll raise you with a price tag like this. BFG C07, we can do that. <laughs> Whoa, you said it was... You said it was going to be more than that, £21.95. This is an incredible deal, Mark. Even though, even if you had some of these things, would you get it as well, just to replenish? Oh, oh of course, it would make, make perfect sense. I mean, for me, that, uh, that bracelet board has just been the most amazing thing ever. Because I, only, because I make jewellery to sell, I only use my wrist as a measurement, you see. And I, oh, um, you haven't um, got a lady's wrist. No, so for me, it's really difficult to judge sizes of wrists. So to have, what I do now is I make a bracelet four different sizes oh. so, I'm, so I'm, I've, there's a lot of stock being built up but you know I'm, I've always Ready got those Christmas. sizes yeah but I've got to make sure I've got the sizes to fit the wrists you've got your first Christmas fair this month mm -hmm. when is that where is it it is three weeks Saturday it's gone now sorry I was gonna sneeze again then I keep sneezing today. You are a lot today. I've got yeah. a cold. A cold. I've got one of them end of summer colds. <laughs> and it's fine, apart from the earache, because that's driving me oh. blinking crackers. 
These are only 21.95. Be quick in grabbing theirs. It's all right. We can deal with the summer cold. If you've got a summer cold, grab this. It'll make you feel better. 21.95. Gorgeous. It's better than a lemon sip. Other other drinks that make you feel better whilst having a cold are available like Beecham's 21.95 BFG C05 tools of the trade essential not medically better I'm not you listen if I was your doctor you would be in trouble they're not medically better than lem sips of course they're not you know if I if ever <laughs> 21.95 you know <laughs> Well, everyone's got summer colds, Laura. Hey, the kids have gone back today, have they? Is that, do you know what? Are you like, yes, jewelry making again, yes. I can play in the street again without them pesky kids getting in the way and stealing my ball. Now, do you know what I like, fish? It'll calm me down. The fish won't calm me down, they'll make me more excited. Are you mad? Are you mad? No. When did we launch these fish and why was I not allowed to see them? Have you seen them? I've never seen them, no. Last week. Oh, they gave them to the sensible one because they knew I'd go bananas when I saw them. Just keep uh -huh. swimming, just keep swimming. You know what I'm doing, yeah? Nemo. <laughs> Have you seen that film? Once, I think. What do you mean once? I love it. Especially, I like her. She reminds me of me. They're finding Dory. Come and have a look. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do something cool with your camera, and I'll pretend like I'm going to do that. Just keep swimming thing. <laughs> I love them. I just love them. Do you know where I want to put them? in my bathroom on a light switch cha-chinga. Because aren't they boring, those little things that come on the end of a cha-chinga? Cha -chinga. You know, cha-ching, light pull, yeah. And the blind pull. Mark, these are so much fun. They're really cool, aren't these they? These will be good for your cat. For my cat? Yeah, the cats love fish. Hmm. Does your cat not try and get the fish out of the fish bowl? Is that just <laughs> my cats? Did that? Yeah. I had a cat called Felix, and I, I won all these fish from the fair, and he used to sit there and fish them out of the bowl. My yeah, cats, used to, yeah, I used my to be cats. like, oh, Felix, I have to yeah. pick them up and put them back in my again. My cat sleeps on the top of our fish tank. Your cat's what, sorry? sleep on the top of the fish tank. Yeah, you don't and, trust yeah. them. And there's don't been, trust there's them. been once where I was in the middle of cleaning it out, and he leapt onto the top, and it wasn't there, and he went in. But, <gasps> but he's, never, he's never gone in for the fish, no. <laughs> Cats. Now, what are you going to do with these, Marky, apart from make a cat collar? They'd make really funky um, watch face shambalas, wouldn't they? Black leather, just one bead in the middle of the wrist. A watch face shambala. Is it a clown? What kind of fish is that? Do you angel know? fish, I think. An angel fish. Mm. Oh, yeah, like, I had a black one of those, I think. Before that pesky cat got it. I think these are ace. Kids' jewellery. They're just fun, aren't they? You also get eye light. I'm just thinking these would make really cool handbag charms too, wouldn't they? Really cool key rings, little fish. Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. You want earrings, Ollie? Fish earrings. They would be really popular. What about the herringbone weave around the fish? What about making... Did I mean to make the pun? Herringbone. The herringfish, yeah. Yeah, I did mean to do it. <laughs> you didn't mean to do it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not that clever. I only make jokes by accident. Like, I can't plan them. Not in this place. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> It's like funny fish and chip shop. Um, everybody's got one, haven't they? Like the, we've got the cod father. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, it is good. There's one near me called whaler fish. Oh, whaler chips. Whaler chip. Whale and chips. Oh, whale and chips. Yeah. Wow, I don't <laughs> fancy that. Yeah. Now these have been hand 
card. These are fun, aren't they? They're just a bit of fun. I can tell Hala, Hala Oxford's got that Basti says fish, hasn't she? That's where, that's where she was inspired with this. If you're a cat lover, you'll know that these are essential. Buy this one for your cats. Are you ready? The Iolite is beautiful. Iolite has polarizing qualities and it's been important since the Viking Age. VFG C01. Twelve ninety-five. You're swimming in on the phone lines for this one. <laughs> Carp DM sees the day. Carp, yeah, fish carp, yeah. Carp. I can't think of any more. I can't think of any more. They're gorgeous, aren't they, though? These have now gone limited. There are schools of you shopping <laughs> online. Have you got one for me, Mark? Come on, think spontaneously, Mark. I'll, I'll come up with something. Come I'm not on. very good at this. No, he's, I'm going to teach him to be spontaneous. I'm going to make you jump out of an aeroplane or something. Would you do that? Yeah, I would actually. OK, let's make it happen. Yeah. Sponsored parachute. Yeah. Make sure I what, sorry. Uh, but you will be hooked once you buy a first strand. When yeah. You'll be hooked once you buy your first strand of the yeah. fish. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I stole it from Ollie. I know, I, saw, yeah, I heard, but I wasn't going to tell everyone. I was going to let you on. I was going to let you on. These are lovely. These are gorgeous. Whew. <laughs> Ryan's just said, don't let this be your sole purchase of the day. <laughs> what did you say, sorry? You spun around the chair, apparently, going, woo, well, he did that. They were off the scale, those were. They were off the scale. I am flapping with excitement. Fish flap when they're out of the water, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> <laughs> no? No. <laughs> I can't stop, I can't stop. Somebody do something to me. I can't stop. Are you ready? <laughs> Ryan had a double one there. I've just, I've just been working out what Ryan said. Don't let it be your soul. Perch this today. Oh, oh, two birds, one stone. Wow. Right, has everybody got their, hang on a minute. No, Cass hasn't had a go. One, come on, give it to me. Make it fishy. <laughs> Oh, come on. You're having a whale of a time sat there, are you? Yeah. Don't keep stealing <laughs> ollies. Nothing? Nothing. I can only apologise for Cass and her lack of spontaneity there. OK, now, in all seriousness, I need you to just appreciate what I've got here for you. And actually, this is a really incredible strand that you're going to get. It's brand new. But I'm going to put it against my neckline, actually, if, um, if that's OK. And what I'm going to do is draw your attention, if I may, to the Morganite in this strand. My favourite yellow gemstone is Heliodor. You've got it here. Now, we've all heard those very strong rumours that in the very, very near future, Aquamarine is going to be the next precious gemstone. We do anticipate that to drive up the price tags of Aquamarine. If you ever were to buy a strand that you wanted to create jewellery out of that you um, would like to have valued, I would recommend picking up a strand like this. Now, what this strand offers you is not only beautiful, subtle colours, but let's just have a look at this strand, actually, because here, don't you see a fabulous clarity? Isn't that a rarity when it comes to any one of these gemstones? Morganite was said to be in Marilyn Monroe's collection of gorgeous gemstones. And what a beautiful, beautiful woman she was. Morganite is a gemstone that was launched by Tiffany & Co. 
Morganite is a gemstone that you will find at Tiffany & Co, at Cartier, at Boodles, at Bulgari, all the big high-end jewellers. You can expect to see this gemstone amongst the collection. Heliodor is a golden yellow that is just absolutely divine. And aquamarine, the birth gemstone of March. Now, Mark, rosary linking these would be something that I would like to do, maybe in a necklace or a bracelet. Where does your mind take your design? And I know you're not a spontaneous man and you would probably sit and think about it, but right now you're looking at this, inspire me. Okay, I would take the middle stone out and just make a ring with that. And then the middle I would, three the, or the yeah, middle stone? The middle, middle stone. The one, yeah. okay. And then I would graduate in Japanese pagoda style up to a small, either with a big pendant, really nice wire wrapped, Ooh, definitely yes. rose gold, rose gold with all of that. Mm -hmm. It'd be beautiful. It's got a real delicate mm. subtlety to it. Now we know this is a special strand. We know this is a special strand. And again, I'm going to ask you, because you've been really honest with your prices here. We haven't mm. got silly. You've told me genuinely and honestly where our prices should fall today. I would like to ask you, what would you pay for this strand? Uh, in honesty. In honesty. I would go up to sort of thirty-two ninety-nine, thirty-four ninety-nine. It's barrel. Yeah. We do pay more for barrel. It's, it's the morganite, isn't it? it? It's just. It's the morganite. You don't get it often. It's the heliodor. In fact, heliodor is our most expensive yellow gemstone. I prefer heliodor over a yellow diamond. And if somebody said you want a heliodor ring or a yellow diamond ring, I promise you, I would ask for the heliodor ring. Now I'm going to, look, I just want to draw your attention to the top here. The, these are graduated. I ex look, at, look at this, Mark. Look at the clarity. Aquamarine. That's aquamarine. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's why we're paying more. That's why we're paying more. Now, this is a Gems of Distinction strand. Laura has declined to tell me how much she's doing this strand for. We haven't got the Gems of Distinction clarification on this. Let's, what, what do you think, what do you think? Now she hasn't told me the price. Mm. I reckon. Are you gonna get, do like a crazy, crazy, crazy price? Is it gonna be less than 25 pounds? Is it? Yes. You're confirming that it's 25 pounds, it's less than 25 pounds. Okay, well I want it already then. Less than twenty pounds. Do you pay nineteen ninety five for this, Mark? Like a shot. Yeah. Like a shot. Yeah. Mark would pay nineteen ninety five <laughs> for this, like a shot. All right, go on then. Go on. She's saying you're going to go mad. What? Now she genuinely did not tell me the price tag. What do we say? That you have to get three or four of. I'd get four. This is going to sell out. What would you be doing right now if you were at home and you did have oh. the power to buy now? What for would you do? For the Aquamarine and Morganite alone, I'd be buying three or four of those. That's just stunning. You have the power to buy these now. Unfortunately, Mark and I don't because we're here. Now, there are queues uh, forming on the phone lines. These are going to sell out in the live show. And we've only got half an hour left. You've got to be quick. If you, how many have we got? This is crazy. This is the lowest price tag I have ever, 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 ever seen for a strand that has morganite on it, for a strand that offers you clarity. Are you insane, Laura? Does Hannah Oxbury know you've done this? $9.95. $9.95. This is a troublemaker price tag for you. Uh, already 50 have been allocated. These are going to go. These are sell out. Loads of you on the phone lines. Loads of you on the web. Now, Mark said, what did you say? $32.95. I said 24.95, 22.95, I, and that was because I knew, she, I thought she was going to do a crazy deal, so I said that, thinking I better err on the side of caution here, because I don't want to tell everyone they're going to be sort of 26 pounds, which is where I was really expecting mm. them. For, I mean, some of the viewers who, who watch Gems TV as well, I mean, this, this is such a wow piece of jewellery that would be easily at home in the Sarah Bennett collections, easily. Absolutely. <laughs> It's decadent. Mm. Would you split the colours up? Laura's splitting up the colours. Are you yes. keeping them all together? No, I'd split them. You'd split them. Mm. I'm going to keep them together. I love them together. I'm a rebel and I. They're gorgeous <laughs> though. They're absolutely beautiful. Do you know what I would put with this? 
the rose gold chain that we've got coming up. That's what I'd put with it. Gorgeous, we've got some pink satin cord as well, haven't we? Where's that really pretty light one? The one that we had in the um, bundle. That would be pretty. I, to be honest, Law, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. In my mind, this is a very, 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 very high-end strand. I'm not gonna put satin cord with it because it's gonna be an expensive piece of jewelry. Oh, it's just to show the colours. Right, don't, you don't have to explain yourself to me. It's just show the colours. <laughs> to be honest, Laura, you might think that's the price tag for Morganite, but you are full, baby. You are full. Have a look. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Don't you think, though? No, I, would, I would have to keep this high end. It has to be on precious metal findings as well. Just because they're now a lower price tag than I expected doesn't mean I'm going to treat them any differently. It doesn't. These in between would look lovely, wouldn't they? We're going to give you this in a bit. We're, should we do it now, actually, having said that? And we're going to do the chain now. How much of the yellow, how much of that barrel strand have we got left? They're going to sell out any second. Any second now, they're going to sell. They're going to go. I'd have bought three or four of those, yeah, would you? Absolutely. What about this chain? Do you know? Oh, are you watching Big Brother at the moment? I don't really watch things like that, but my mother will even watch when there's nothing going on and all you can hear is that meow of an aeroplane going past. I'm like, come on, seriously? She's obsessed. And anyway, I went to mum's at the weekend, last weekend, because it was Mia's birthday, and we stayed there, and um, they were all watching Big Brother. Carol McGiffin's on it, mm. the celebrity one. Uh, now, she has got a chain, a long chain, that she wears all the time on her TV show, and it's just like this. It's a paperclip chain and it's done by a designer. Because she was doing, she used to do magazine articles and things. Um, you know, she, did you know she was married to Chris Evans? Yes. Yeah, yeah you know, she did, um, yeah. she did lots of ma magazine articles. Isn't that funny? How many times have you been married then? Three? It must be. Crikey. Anyway, she's got one of these chains and it's very, very expensive. We're price slashing this today. It's Italian. And again, now Bruce, you've been away, you've had time to think. Did you think of anyone Italian that was, you could think of that was unattractive? I'll follow. You won't. $21.95 is the normal price tag for this very expensive looking, beautiful chain that is real rose gold, solid sterling silver. Very, very beautiful. You've got nine inches of it. I buy two or three of these and actually make a necklace. We're going to give you, for the first time, a price slash on this chain. We're not just going to give you a little price slash. Laura's just told me how much it is in my ear. No, she didn't do that with the barrel. Had she have done it with the barrel, I would have had time to stop her. Which is why she didn't do it. Now with this chain, you need to be very, very, very fast. Mark, talk to me about where this would suit itself in your jewellery designs. I would split it up. Uh, what do you mean you split it up? I'd split it up into separate links. That's murder. And use the links in earrings. Would you? It would, it would double, triple the price of the earrings, wouldn't it? Just from adding up. Okay, all right. Yeah. You're you're thinking yeah. about doing this as a uh, for a biz with your business yes. head on. Yes. So actually, that's important. I'm mm. thinking about jewellery for me. <laughs> you're thinking about what's the best way to make a profit out of this? Mark mm. is Mark's best way to make a profit mm. is to split it and mm. include it in earrings. You can do that just with a little nip. Should be twenty one pounds and ninety five pence. We are going to price slash it majorly. You're gonna wish you had this one. Now it's only a twenty four hour deal. Is that correct, Laura? Only until not even twenty four hours. Thirteen ninety five. This is Italian <laughs> chain, wow. rosa gold, on solid. That was my attempt. Sorry, on solid sterling silver. I've told you the story about me going to work in Italy, haven't I? And I couldn't speak any Italian. I had to work off an auto cue. Yeah, and I couldn't, I couldn't keep an Italian accent going. So in my head, I was singing just one cornetto and saying everything in that tune. Didn't have a clue what I was saying, and it was a shopping channel as well. And I was selling a waxer to remove hair. So goodness only knows what I was saying in Italian. 
13.95. Already 50 of these have been allocated on the website. Lots of you there. I love Italian chain. I just think this looks so expensive. Such an important addition. Uh, and actually with, oh, the barrel's gone and sold out just to let you know. Oh, we're selling out. Oh, we sold out of the emerald. We sold out of the early bird. Everything is flying today. I think we're gonna sell out of the chain as well. Well done to everybody who has got theirs. And just look at the way the light reflects off rose gold. Now, rose gold, Mark, is the hottest precious metal of the moment, isn't it? Exactly. I'm being asked for it more and more and more, without a doubt. Beautiful. More and more and more you're being asked yeah, for it. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? That It is a beautiful, beautiful precious metal, isn't it? What's the gram weight you got in there? What is the gram weight? I'm not sure. I'll find out once me uh, once I can. Have a look at this chain. Now, Mark, so you're going to split it up. Is it just earrings you would do, or would is there yes, other things you would so. do too? I think so. I mean, what would look really nice is is using maybe one of those big long paperclip links as your watch face. Yeah. And then chose a nice bead. I mean, that morganite from that last strand we had, and just have graduated morganite size going from the centre of that. Um, paper clip round to the bottom of the wrist and use that centre link as the feature. We do have a lot of these, mm. but we don't, mm. do you know what? We don't have so many strands of just chain, no. do we? Now, we are going to give to you, I love the code to this, OMG CO4. Which box is it in? Number 11. smell good I have to sniff everything it's bad isn't it do you do that is it a woman thing yeah it is have a look at this gorgeous strand now are you into Soutache have you are you enjoying the idea of getting involved in Soutache let me talk to you about this strand because of the edges this is perfect for edging your Soutache cord along now this is also wonderful for Shambhala for the same reason. And that's why we're gonna offer you the cord as well. Great for rings, wonderful for wire wrapping for the same reason. These have got an edge to them. Now not many gemstones we give you have that square edge, do they Mark? So you really have got the opportunity now to butt something against that edge, like a wire, mm. like a soutache um, cord. Absolutely, they're beautiful. Can you sew Mark? Um, I can darn socks, that's about it. Yeah, good, then you can sew Tash. Yeah, yeah. As long as you can sew a button on, yeah, you can sew Tash. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. This strand on its own is £7.95 on our website, which is fantastic actually. They'd quite a cool belt, wouldn't it? Don't you think? It's a cool belt. Now, I am just looking at this cord and I love the fact that with the hemp, with the, um, hemp cord, this is all the hemp one, what was it earlier that I said we need hemp cord with? You've got that rustic look Mark. I like the basket weave with hemp mm. cord as well. We're not doing enough basket weaving I've just decided. Now, <laughs> now have a look at these colours, the neutral tones are gorgeous. Now they will knot together really easy, the fibres sort of knit together when you, when you put a knot in these so they won't slip so you don't need to use jewellery glue do you Mark? Um, if you're selling your pieces on I definitely recommend adding some sort of glue um, but for, for own personal use I don't think you need glue at all. Not, all not, these not lovely hemp. colours where would you choose um, the hemp cord over any other cord? Um, masculine pieces? Yeah masculine pieces or everyday wear pieces um, I just, I just love, really love hemp. It's an amazing material to use. It's nice to have the matte finish and, yeah, or the option yeah. of either a matte finish, mm. or, right. um, or the satin finish, isn't it? And all this colour, actually, this bundle goes very well together. So, seven ninety five are the agates on their own. They're twenty five by fifteen to fourteen by eighteen millimeters. On the strands, there's a multicolored thread that goes through it. So you can already see, you're right, Ryan, as always. Do you ever use the strands that these come off or do you just snip it? I snip ferociously. You ferociously, I like yes. the word ferocious. Ferocious, Mark snipped ferociously. 
<laughs> I'm thinking about writing a book, you see, so I'm listening to lots of words. Are you? Yeah, I want to be the next Jilly Cooper. Oh. I think I'd be quite good at it. I, I love writing, I love it. I used to write a lot and I don't anymore, so I'm going to start again. Excellent. Anyway, enough of that. If Debbie Bolford can do it, so can I. She inspired me yesterday and we are launching Debbie's book on Friday. Debbie's got the book for me today, so I'm going to take it home and read it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 on my strand. You'll get there or thereabouts on yours too. So you could pay £7.95 for these gorgeous agates on their own on the website if you want to. You could do that if you wanted to or you could do this instead. You could pay £7.95 for the gorgeous strand and get the hemp for Mark free. How much would you pay for this normally if you were... I mean, don't you think that's great? Gosh, there's three... I can't remember how much it is on the website. Is this a profit maker for you? Yeah, massively. And it's half mil as well, isn't it? Is it half mil or is one mil? Is this the half mil or is this the one mil? Half mil, it's half Perfect. mil. Perfect, so it'll, get, it'll go through most of our beads as well, which is really good. Perfect. So, but not that that's ever a problem because you can use your lazy strand. Beading could thread. be beading right. thread, but it's yeah. better for you if you just want to use a fluid piece. 7.95, wonderful, 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 wonderful. 0800 ONG, C04. You're on the lines for thee, says Laura. You're all over the lines. No. Laura, whilst we're doing this, because everybody is just flooded on the phone line, so perhaps you missed the satin cord deal. Laura doesn't mind. I'm going to bring that to you now. She, she don't mind, do you, Laura? You don't mind, do you? <laughs> now, let's have a look at these. Now, we haven't had, good morning, Bruce. I mean, good afternoon, all right? I've talked to you, but I haven't actually said good, good afternoon. Now, You've got all these lovely cords, these lovely satin cords. Now the great, you get, you're going to get a really good deal on these. You've got the bundle of colours. And what was it? One and a half metres per Shambhala bracelet. Yep. And what did I have? 120 metres. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 120 metres. And you're going to charge £10 for each, so that's... 80 bracelets. What's 80 times? What did we? No, no, what do we, how do we work out how much money he was gonna make out of this? How many Shambhala star bracelets at? Oh right, at 10 pounds each. So that's 800 pounds, because we worked it out wrong before. Didn't we? What were we doing last time? 800 pounds worth of value this could have for you if you were Mark. Don't you, don't you talking maths in my ear? And I just don't I, don't, I can't listen to it, I'm sorry. I can't listen to mathematical terminology. You're starting to sound like my siblings. I want to run. Now, have a look. I was telling you earlier I'm thick, don't do it to me. I'm thick when it comes to numbery things and scientific things. But you're wordy things I'm all right with. You're an amazing mum, though. Thanks. If, if all else fails, I no, I'm not. R K G C thirty four. Now Laura's left the room. It's I. I feel it might be because she's got in trouble over that barrel deal. Is that what's happened? Hello, Ed. Ed's on board. He's producer Ed today. Sometimes he's manager Ed, and other times he's presenter Ed. Jack of all trades. Are you ready? Think about the profit. Now, Mark said this is about £800 worth of value to him as a businessman looking at this. All of the colours. We're giving you a little refresher of what we gave you earlier. Yes, it is a crazy deal. Ed's just joined us in the producer desk and he just went, hang on, this is a crazy deal. £7.95 is your price tag. Now, you said to me earlier, Mark, 120 metres. What would be the norm that you would pay outside a jewellery maker? You can't get this, let's pretend. You can't get it. Talk to me. You have to go to a craft. You've got to go somewhere else. Okay. What's your price? Best, best price that I've seen recently is 60 pence a metre. You've got 120 metres. What's 60 times 120, Mark? £72. Pound. 
72 pounds mm. are you seriously telling me promise me yeah. hand on heart yeah. that it is totally acceptable that this bundle would cost you outside of jewelry maker mm. up to 72 pounds yep and i've seen it for that price Unbelievable. you've seen it with well, your bought, own I've, eyes yeah, i bought it for the workshop before we were able to get it why are we doing deals like this? Somebody stop mm. us. I know we've got amazing buying power, but this is crazy. Seven pounds, 95 pence. Be as quick as you can on those phone lines. Of course, uh, we are giving you a, a refresher. Way over half of the entire stock of this entire bundle has gone. Now, my dear hearts and jewelry makers, let's give to you can we do, Edward, now what's in number two? Because I love these colours and because Mark and I have both <laughs> grabbed this strand today and gone, oh, I love that. Now, it's part of a bundle mm. and I love the little bones that you get in all. Have a look. Oh, isn't this colour just glorious? Look at this colour, you can see. How wonderful it is from there. Isn't it beautiful, Mark? Isn't that striking, that colour? And it's colour that we're drawn to, isn't it? So it it's is. It's only recently we've, we've been getting Amazonite in this quality. It's just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. This is the finest quality mm. Amazonite. It is absolutely breathtaking and it is exactly what I want. It's exactly what your customers are going to want with those rose gold findings. Now think about letting your barrel strand go even further. Mm. Think about letting your citrine go even further. We've got coming up next for you, after this one, an even sneakier deal of gorgeous citrine coming up soon. I'm also going to give you your shell bone shapes. Now I love these. I love these bones. Have you used these yet, Marky? I haven't, no. Look at the shape Something of them. Like I bamboo, just bamboo shape, aren't they? They're what, sorry? Bamboo. Bamboo shape, mm. yes, I like that. And then you've got your shell ovals. And this magnesite is like marble, isn't it? It kind of, kind of Roman feel about this whole bundle, actually. Do you love to use swellagant in your findings? Now, I'm absolutely mad on uh, verdigris. I love it. This is very steampunk, isn't it? Now, if you are um, if you are jewellery making or card crafting, most crafters now are into steampunk, aren't they? And I've been researching it a lot. And I know we, we've got, we're a bit crafty in our household. We do a lot of craft research in our household for whatever reasons. Now, we've got craft magazines coming out of our ears at home. What? Look, the world is going bananas for steampunk. We love it. We love steampunk. American, um, we, we all know that Americans are absolutely obsessed with sort of, with a vintage look, aren't they? They love, when they come to England, they love looking at our quaint old houses and things like that, steampunk things. And think about verdigreeing your pieces. Think about using the swellagant to do that. Think about how you're going to add those embellishments. Now these are already very popular on the website. Let's bring you the price tag so that you can get involved on the dog and bone. Under 10 pounds. Mark. Three. Wow. Stop it, hang on. Three, six, nine, 12. That's less than three quarters. Two, four. Crazy, what is that? What is that, 2.50 a strand? It's about 2.50 a strand. The Amazonite, I've got to try that Amazonite on. It's less, oh look, you know I can't add up. I always add a couple. Look at this. Now Mark, if you paid 250 for this strand, are you gonna make a profit off it, even if you just were to do this? Slightly, <laughs> it's ridiculous, that's amazing. A ridiculous profit. Yeah. Oh good, that's that means beautiful. you'll be on another that's holiday. Beautiful. Hey, this is why he, suddenly, suddenly Mark's given up the day job and he's holiday this, holiday well, they're not, that. We're not holidays, we're walking the whole week. It's a holiday. <laughs> just because you choose to walk, it just goes to show. Mm. Isn't it lovely? Now, 
Are you gonna have? You're gonna have to have a staff party for just you at Christmas. Uh, let's yeah, let's see. Maybe yeah. you can come to ours. Of course you can. Oh, I can't wait. Let's start organising it now. It's going to be Christmas very soon. And that said, you are going to have to make sure you've got loads and loads and loads of stock ready for your Christmas fairs. Mark, these kinds of deals, if you're doing Christmas fairs, are just, you've got to get involved with them, haven't you? They're just amazing. So that bamboo shape, just a simple, they'd make really good cufflinks as well, the bamboo shapes. Bamboo, bamboo shape, oh yeah. If you yeah. turn them into beady beads for an outside of cufflink, they look amazing. How do I turn that into a beady bead? Exactly the same way as you do, do, would do an ordinary bead. So really? Yeah, yeah, and it'd make a really nice... Caged it'd almost, it'll nice look. look. Yeah, that'll yeah. look great. Don't forget, I have got the citrine coming up, haven't I, Ed? But before that, what number is it? Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to be fast, Ryan. All right, calm down. Stay calm there, Ryan. All right. <coughs> Are you all right, Bruce? Bruce is choking. Give him that high, high, high. I was going to say something else, and I realised that was the wrong word. Have a look. There's a lot. Of, are you all right, Bruce? Crikey! Oh, now, I've got for you. We're going to have to do this so quickly now. These are going to sell out, I reckon, because their price tag, Ed saying, is crazy. Now, YHG, C64 is your item code. Look at the colours. Here's everything that you get. Gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous. Whether you use these together or separately, you need them. Now, we are, we've got some jewellery to show you. Am I going to get time to do the citrine, do you think? Look at this! Isn't this fab? By Suzanne. By HG664, look, I've got to give you a price tag. 8.95 for three gemstones? Look, look, look at what you could create. This is an incredible deal, isn't it? Mark, isn't that reminds me of a peacock feather? Gorgeous. 8.95, un. Believable. Now we're going to have to go to Mark's challenge. That's all we're going to have to do. We're going to bring you the citrine tomorrow. Now, it's the one you bought out, yeah. Let's go over to Marky McBarky. You ready for me? Now, Mark, you've been given your challenge today. You've been very, um, you've been well, focused. Well, I word spent an hour trying to do the flowers and couldn't do them, so I gave up. <gasps> hey, some, Mark, this is something fabulous. Else. Yeah. I like, I like what you've done there. Why are you going, mm? It's beautiful, be proud. Stand up and be proud, well, okay. please. Well, that's, it's, not, it's not what I wanted to do. Well, that's, it's well, a I happy accident. That's the whole it. point mm. of being creative. Mm. Creative people don't work to structure, Mark. No, when you okay. learn this. <laughs> okay. When you, when you jump off that plane, I want you to have to think about that. Uh, also about opening your parachute, right. but about yeah. spontaneity. I want you to do something spontaneous as your New Year's resolution, please. Okay. Now look, that is good. Oh, I love this. Look at this bracelet. I love this. Look how delicate. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Have a look at this. Doesn't time fly? Can't believe today's show no. is already over. And look at the earrings, the wire wrapping. We're a bit limited, says uh, Ed. Because now he's suddenly turned into a chimney sweep. We're a bit limited. Have a look at this. I've got a chimney sweep coming next week, actually. Have you? Yeah. Ready for winter. Yeah, why am I weird? <laughs> You've got to have your chimney swept now and when, then. When do you live in the 40s? <laughs> like, well, of course I've got, a I've got four chimneys in my house. <laughs> Now, absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Thank you so Thank much, you. Marky. Uh, we've run out of time already, can you believe this? Uh, Mark, when are you back with us? I am back next Tuesday. Hooray! Yes, next Tuesday back morning. to normality. Yes, I think you're yes. with me again. Oh, okay. You'll be delighted to know. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> I'm with Vicky. You're not, you're with Vicky, Vicky. you're with Vicky, you're yes, with Vicky, yes. and then the Tuesday after that. Anyway, you will be back next Tuesday. Now, um, please don't go anywhere. Debbie Bulford and I, 
have got a masterclass for you at two o'clock. You have got to make sure you're staying tuned for that. Polly McClay Masterclass, live, two o'clock today. All that's left is for Mark and I. Thank you so much. So lovely Thank to have you. you back. Say goodbye. But please keep interactive on Facebook. Keep sending us your Wall of Fame entries and tune in live at five where the wonderful Fee will be bringing you more incredible bargains. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.